Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. I am Thaggard, and we are headed into Survival Fountain of Youth for some more fun. All right. So, we have been doing very hard on the stream. And I'm going to continue to do very hard at different points. Today, though, I'm going to try out something slightly different. We are going to knock the difficulty level down to hard because we are going to be playing with the lone survivor mode. The one life challenge, as it were. So, uh, yeah, if we die, we start over. One faint is all we get. Okay. Um, skip intro tutorial. Yes. Maximum number of faints. One. Difficulty. The only reason we're going to do this on hard instead of very hard is because, well, it, the one life challenge makes it very hard to begin with, you know? We're going to have to worry about absolutely everything. So we're going to back it off just one. And eventually we're going to try this again on very difficult. So, hey, if you're looking for that very difficult lone survivor playthrough, we'll be doing that at some point. Just you wait. But for now, I want to go back to hard just so I can get that Navy jacket. Woo. All right, let's try this. Hey, how you doing today? All right. That fire is always so loud. All right, we'll grab our map. We know where to go. We'll grab this thing just because we can. If you guys have any questions during the stream, please ask them. Oops. Come on, camera. Wake up. There we go. I was doing multi-camera recording earlier, so it's a little funky. If you guys have any questions, please ask them. I will answer them as best as I can. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go with the Navy coat, primarily because it protects us from damage. It protects us from the elements, and it's just rather nice. And my screen is too big. Give me a second. game has decided that it doesn't want to be the resolution that I originally put it in, so let's fix the issue. There we go. That looks better. All right. Okay, so yeah, we're going to grab the Navy Cup. It is wonderful. And now let's head out the window. Strong came out of nowhere. Strong winds and giant waves blew up in a split second and crashed. All right. There is another. No, there isn't that. Not in this one. I had seen something in the pre release that was kind of interesting. I'll have to see if they'll put it back in. <clears throat> All right. For 
first things first, we need to secure a uh, food supply, food and water supply. So we are going to head into the water here. And there are quite a few of these sea urchins here. We are going to grab the sea urchins, but more importantly, we are going to grab the starfish. There are three starfish in the starting area, and I think about five or six sea urchins. Um, we want to grab all of them. All right, where's that other starfish? There it is. The quicker we can do this and move on, the better. All right, there's a sea urchin up there, so we'll grab this. Okay. He lives! Hey, Mambu, how you doing? Yeah. I didn't do, like, any streaming last week with all the stuff going on with uh, the release or the early access release of uh, the game. Just because I was not used to the amount of effort that all of those videos... I was doing many, many videos and long recording sessions. And so I was taking extra time to do stuff. But we're going to get back into the normal schedule as soon as we can. Alright, um... Let's get a shelter started. And we're not going to worry about too much on this first day. Uh, we're going to just try and grab as much stuff as possible. Just going to dump it all here on the ground because we are just... Right now we're on a race to grab as much stuff as we possibly can before it starts to get dark. Because we have a def decent amount of health. And, uh, more specifically, strength. Alright, it's about midday. I'm gonna drop all this stuff off here. Campfire. I want to get our campfire set up. We're going to want to try and get a Liana. Alright. And we're going to throw down a bed. Throw it down right over here under this overhang because we will be able to uh, sleep out of the rain, which is wonderful. Protect us from the rain and the cold. Oh, crumb. I needed one of those uh, sticks. That's why I would put another stick in there. I was doing it without even thinking. Actually, I'm going to grab two. That way we can make a uh, porch if we need to. Gonna try and grab some Liana rope. There should be one rope on the beach for us to find. But we're gonna go and grab some more stuff here. Have to be careful with all of our steps right now, just because life is hard in this mode. Alright, let's make ourselves a starting weapon. Our food is getting nice and low. So we're going to want to get some food. More importantly, we're going to want to secure some water as well. It's starting to get late. So what we're going to do is we're going to run over to these citrus trees over here. 
we're going to grab these citrus trees. Now we're going to have to go past two of these smaller dogs. Hopefully we get by without much issue. Damn, he got me. Uh, did we get wounded? No, okay. at our max weight here, which is unfortunate. We're going to be moving back very slow. We're not going to get that. Uh, we might be able to go over here and get that one Liana rope. Make a torch. Possibly. Okay. Oh, we don't have the bark with us. Mm. Now we're going to head back to camp. We will eat some food, and then we will doze off for the night. Get a good sleep. Not going to do anything else right now uh, so we don't wind up injuring ourselves. That's that's going to be on these hard difficulties, especially when you're playing Lone Survivor. Illness. Illness is the very, very scary thing. You know, when you get attacked by an animal, you don't look at your health. You go, did I get scratched? Because <laughs> that can easily be the end of you. <clears throat> now, we do know that there are four water of life on the starting island. I uh, did a video on that over on the YouTube channel today. That one just hit. It's, a, it's one of... Three different videos that came out today. All very short videos. I think the longest one is like three minutes or something like that. <clears throat> and these are all locations around uh, for specific resources that people have been trouble finding. So I covered the living water here on the Island of Hope. And then I also covered... <clears throat> excuse me. I also covered... The strong branches and the uh, horse sweep seem to be the things that people are having the most issues with right now. So I wanted to cover those. <clears throat> and we did. Let's go like this. Luckily, busting up a coconut doesn't give us a... Injury chance. We'll do that. And making our leaf a bed doesn't have an injury chance, so that's nice as well. All right, we will sleep to just before sunrise. And we will grab a couple more oranges. And... I didn't have any normal coconut. Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> I'll be doing some cooking relatively soon. Ah, we got the stomach ache. Okay. That's always the fear. Getting some skills will help with uh, avoiding those illnesses. So we're going to grab some chamomile to treat the stomach ache. Go ahead 
go to the Pitcher Grotto maybe tomorrow to grab some resources from it. I'm going to grab these kind of like grapes. They're a decent source of water. Hydration. So they're nice to grab early on. Make life a little bit easier. Now, there is a free little liana rope right at the edge of this pillar. So we're going to grab this guy. But we are also... How's our X? Plenty of stuff. We're also going to go inland here to the liana tree. Or the banyan tree and get some liana rope. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> Going to try and avoid any... Alright, gathering one. Wonderful. Going to try and avoid any legless fauna interference. Alright. Okay. So we can now create some liana rope. We grabbed our liana vines. We also grabbed some tobacco and hibiscus to help treat some illnesses. That will cover us getting sick due to rain, cold, stuff like that. Let's roll. <clears throat> what we'll do is try and cook up some medicinals this evening as well as food. That way we can have some survivability going into day three. Uh, day three, I think we'll try and climb the tree there. Hopefully that rope is on the beach in hard mode. I believe it was. So we'll go and grab that. Do a little bit of mapping. I've kind of memorized where everything is at, but the mapping still helps me because the jungle looks very much the same from all directions. And it's easy to uh, get turned around. We're at 18 health. You'll start to lose. Uh, sorry, we have or at 18 food. You'll start to or nourishment. You'll start to lose uh, health if you drop below 10 nourishment. You'll go into a starvation uh, state, and we definitely want to avoid that. Okay. We're going to try to quickly kind of organize our camp a little bit. We're going to put all our leafs narrow, dead, and wide over here. Going to put our foodstuffs over in this direction. Fire starters will be back here. Can leave the small wood over here and the long branches over there. Oops. Didn't want to drop those rocks, but we did. Uh oh. I dropped them. Oh no. I didn't know I could do that. Looks like I dropped them into this wall. Okay, so we lost some resources. Hey, I learned some new stuff. Don't drop stuff too near the wall. Okay. 
that's unfortunate. We lost one of our rocks. Oh. Okay. Learn something new every day. I'm not going to process these right now because there's still some health on the starfish, which means I can just leave them right here and they won't spoil. Hey, do you think very hard is unbalanced? Uh, no, I just think it's very hard. I actually find it quite fun, but I am also slightly sadistic like that. Okay, so let's get up our first fire starter. But yeah, it, it's not, it ain't no walk in the park, okay? Ain't no walk in the park. We'll leave this guy right over here by the fire. I'm going to go quickly grab a massive rock. We're going to bust that massive rock up into four little itty bitty rocks. Ooh, hang on a second. I need to get some food in me. Find that a little close. This will give us 11 food, 6 water for a 4% indigestion chance. Yay! We didn't get indigestion. Wonderful. <clears throat> Sadistics towards... Well, I don't know. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's more masochistic, you know? It's not in real life. I don't like hurting myself in real life, but in games, man... I like to make things as difficult as possible because I'm an idiot, <laughs> you know? Uh, can I play stuff on the lighter mode? Sure. But that's what that awesome difficulty slider is on so many different games, you know? All right, what time of day is it? It's getting a little later into the evening. All right, we're starting to get overweighted. Wait, the starfish doesn't spoil on ground at all? Uh, yes, it does spoil on the ground, uh, Vicky. But uh, it still just takes a set period of time. It takes a couple of days. So um, it spoils as quickly on the ground as it does in your inventory. So... On the harder modes where you're like really looking for them resources, it's really nice to just dump everything on the ground, build a box later on, and then worry about it then. No, it's great. Hard mode develops, you know, it develops that inner heart you know, that, well, that's where your heart is. It's inner, but uh, that inner strength. There we go. That, that's more of a word. All right. Uh, let's grab the fire starter. Hopefully. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 2% chance of injury. 25% chance of ignition. Please, 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 please. Yes. Mm, we're killing it. Unfortunately, that means there is no way we're going to make it all the way through this uh, <laughs> this playthrough. With that much good luck right off the bat, dude, we are screwed. We are so screwed. All right, let's add a little bit of fuel to this fire. And we are going to do some cooking, y'all. Grab these guys. Let's cook up these dudes. We're going to... Right away, eat these guys. Get our food up. Oh, you know what? Our energy is down to 10. Under 10, actually. So we're going to have to get 
to sleep as well. Um, let's grab some more of this stuff. One thing I want to do before we go to sleep. You know, I am wondering. I think I'm just going to burn this through the night. We're just going to burn that through the night. And we are going to wake up. We are going to uh, do some cooking when we wake up. Okay, so how long do we have on this? This is a waste of resources, and I wouldn't necessarily say to do it this way, but we're going to. I just don't want to waste time relighting that, and I'm actually going to probably add that stick to the fire. Every uh, May I ask you a thing? Every recipe available in game now? No, it is not. There is a lot of stuff that is still not yet in the game. Um, specifically, there are things like, uh, I know that none of the iron tier tech is in the game, so I know we will be able to make a pistol. I know. All right, let's treat that disease. And I'm going to actually add this to the fire. Three hours more. Okay. Okay. Normally, I wouldn't add a long stick to the fire, but it's okay. Ow, we'll get more. Oh, mild thirst. Here we go. Chomp those citrus down. Banjos is first. Uh, yeah, they're, they're one of the things that we're going to be making here as well. How much time we got left on this? Hour 57. We want to make... Bandages and chamomile juice are probably the two most important things. It's raining. Uh, and I don't have a rain collector yet. Uh, di not disaster, but slightly annoying. Alright. Um, How much time we got left on you? One hour and eleven minutes. Fifty six minutes, forty minutes. Extinguish. All right. Yes, but we're going to need to sleep again. We didn't get much in the way of sleep. Next thing I think we're going to be trying to do is upgrade this bed to something a little bit more suitable. Uh, do we have enough stuff right now to upgrade it? Nope. When you have that long stick that we tossed into the fire. Oh, well, we needed food. And now we have food. Okay. All right. We're going to take another small nap here just to give us about midday. That midday nap, man. I bet that's the last rain you'll ever have. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm playing hard mode now. I usually play on very hard, but yes. There's nothing worse than being on very hard and you get a rain and that's it. Um, the vast majority of stuff in the game obviously is pre not pre scripted. It's kind of the wrong term. Um, but I mean, it's, it's designed. It's like, you know, all the stuff on the beach is always in the same place. It's, there is no random generation. The weather now, the weather, that is random. Uh, and sometimes you just get boned, okay? <laughs> you get no luck and you get shafted. And uh, 
you know, you can't control the weather. Can't control the weather, so. We now leveled up our throwing, which is wonderful. If you guys haven't taken a look at your skills, skills are great. Make sure you take a look at these skills. They level as you do things. People have been asking, how do I level my skills? I saw this earlier today on the Steam Forum. You level skills by doing skills. You do things, you get XP for doing things, XP raises your skill levels. It's that easy. So if you want to have more throwing skill, you throw more stuff. You know, you want to have more athletic skill, you, you run around more. You want to have more gathering skill, keep hitting plants. Uh, and eventually, you will get all the things you need. Uh, okay. I'm going to grab this apple here. There are three crates on this beach that contain food. Um, so let's eat the apple. There we go. And then we're going to drop this stuff back off at the, at our little base. And we'll go empty the other two boxes before they go bad. There is no more unavailable in demo. So what recipes you learn and get resources for you can't grab. Uh, there, there is some stuff that we just can't see yet. Yeah, so we know that there's going to be the pistol. We know that there's going to be a, a kind of a musket. We also know that there's going to be armor. Perhaps new melee weapons too. Um, all that is kind of stuff that we know is going to be coming. We also know that there's going to be at least one more uh, boat. As we've seen them on a bigger boat. So there's, there's definitely some stuff to come. All right, let's set up our pharmacy here. This is my pharmacy or my drug cabinet. Just in case I need anything quick to grab. You know what, let's process these. Come on, it was 2% game. Too damn percent. All right, bandage it. 2%, 2%, 2%. By the way, uh, you're going to hear me screaming 2% a lot during this playthrough. Um, so if something like that annoys you, one, this is probably not the game for you. And two, uh, well, get used to it. Because you're going to hear it. All right, so let's go grab a couple more of these long sticks. That way we can make up a new bed. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, definitely more stuff to come. There are... Oh, I can't show you. I can show you this, though. There are three additional regions. I read somewhere that right now we're in the bird region. And then up north is the buffalo region. And I believe that the suggested names of the other regions are snake, which I don't like whatsoever. Panther, which sounds interesting and dangerous. And then uh, Bimini, which is where we would find the... Our final target. Uh. Right. We're going to go and grab a couple more rocks. Because our axe is about to break. We have five health left on our axe before we're going to have to repair it back up to a not full because whenever you repair an item in the game, it loses overall durability. So you only want to repair an item so many times because eventually it will have such low, low durability that you won't get enough usage out of it to be worthwhile. All right, 
Let's head back to the beach. What was that? That was Donald, I think it said? Check that. No, oh, it's not appearing on my activity feed. Wonderful. But thank you very much for that follow. Very much appreciated. Or was that a, a sub over on YouTube? That might be why it didn't appear over there. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. All right, let's let, let's get home. So now we can repair our axe tomorrow and we'll go in. We've already gotten a nice set of liana. I can only recommend rushing obsidian. It's easy to get if you know where and brave. That one jackal with wood and spirit. Uh, this run I even uh, based their fishing spot. If you're talking about, there's a beach that is right past this one that does have a jackal up in the mountain. And it has a decent amount of resources around it. Um, as well as a fishing spot. That might be the area that you're uh, talking about. And it is a good spot. Particularly, it has a nice amount of coconut trees. I think it has like three coconut trees in that area, which are quite helpful. We will head that way. But here's the thing. You don't have to go all the way to the jackal to get to the obsidian. In fact, there is a single piece of obsidian you can just pick up with your bare hands over there. And uh, we could go and grab that tomorrow. You don't have the workbench up yet, so it's not going to be a huge thing, but I think I think what you're saying is kind of where we're going to head. Um, we'll repair our stone axe, and then we'll try and get up to an obsidian axe as quickly as possible. It feels really bad uh, going past our beloved improved axe because that's something we would always uh, rush. But and we might need to repair the axe twice because we're going to have to chop down some trees. Yeah, tons of crabs over there. It's like I refer to it as Crab Beach. Crab Beach is right over there. You know, the crabbiest of beaches. <sighs> Stomach ache. All right. All right. That's why we make so much chamomile juice, okay? <laughs> That's why we make so much chamomile juice. I'm going to sleep actually a little bit extra today. Get a little more stand, uh, energy for us to work with. All right. Uh, this is where we're going to put our stones put our stones over there and we'll put our you know what we're going to use all these big sticks because we're going to quickly upgrade this guy this bed the reason why we are upgrading this bed is if we look here at our beds the primitive bed of leave which is what we've been sleeping on that gives us five energy per hour and the bed of leaves will give us seven energy per hour now the more energy you can get, the less you have to sleep, the more stuff you can do. It's it's a simple equation. 2%! Okay. 2 freaking percent. 2 freaking percent. I told you you guys were going to be hearing that a lot. Get ready. Okay, let's... Head over this direction. Usually use stone tools for crafting at home and then better tools on trips. That's a way to do it. Um, there are a couple of things out there that can help you out as well. Like, uh, you know, there is a stone pickaxe which will that you can get for free. That's quite nice. There is a, there is a torch you can get for free, which is quite awesome. So, you know, those things will definitely help out. Make life a little bit easier. Yeah, 
The 2% that never fails. It's like, really? <sighs> All right. What we're going to do is we're going to go grab that single piece of obsidian. There are a couple single obsidian pieces on the Island of Hope. There's one over here at this mine. There's one at the Water Temple. Uh, I think there are four. Water Temple over here. There's one out at the... I think it's the Plains Arch. There's one in the Jungle Arch as well. So we could go to a lot of those. Right now, we're just going to sneak into this area. We're going to avoid the doggy by coming in the back door. Because I really don't want to fight the Jackal. Because, you know, like I said, we are playing on the hard mode. But more importantly, we are playing on the lone survivor mode. That means we have one life, one faint. If we faint, that's it. Game over. Back to the start screen. All right, we'll grab that. See, we didn't have to worry about a doggo. All we had to worry about was some thorn bushes. And we outsmarted them. I was going to make sure that I actually had gotten through the thorn bushes before I finished that statement. Because <laughs> that's one of those things where it's like, all right, man makes a comment. Instantly, karma slaps him in the face. Another great place early on is coming down this path that the former inhabitants built over into this section because there are bananas that we can pick as well as wide leaves. All of these are things that we're going to need. And there are also a massive ton of wide leaves just all over the ground here, you know? It's not surprising because, you know, these leaves are kind of, the wide leaves are kind of, well, banana leaves. In fact, in the pre-release version of the Early Access, I had a dev copy of the game. And the, the, the actual name of the items is a banana leaf. The wide leaves are actually banana leaves, so. That there are a lot of them over here, not a surprise. And we will need a lot, uh, a lot of them because, once again, we need to make more bandages and already more chamomile. But we're going to do so because keeping on top of our injuries on the harder difficulty levels might be one of the most important things. That and water. Yeah, uh, we will need a big branch. Uh, luckily, there is a location right up this hill where we can get three big branches without having to chop anything down. All we have to do is pick them up off the ground. A little Liana piece. Yeah. Past that. You will find Liana's, uh, Liana vines scattered on the ground in different places. We're just going to kind of give this jungle a little distance because, one, I don't want to deal with that. Snakes are... <clears throat> Me and snakes don't get along very well. And, uh, yeah. Um, if you guys want to watch Me and Snakes got, not get along very well, go over and watch uh, the Harry Potter video over on the YouTube channel. Uh, today for today's episode, I was going into one of the Salazar Slytherin areas. So it's all snakes. And, uh, yeah, I, mm, fake snakes, fake stone snakes. Doesn't matter. They, they were still, still giving me issues. <laughs> the warning and the start of the game is actually... I nicknamed it the Thackard warning because uh, Monk, which is one of the developers, you'll see him over on the Discord and stuff like that. Uh, he was watching my stream and I had one of those visceral reactions to some snakes. And 
he said, oh, we're going to be adding more snakes in places. And I told him he was evil and I didn't like that idea and he should make less snakes. So instead of making less snakes, the very next patch comes out and it has a warning going, you might be scared if you're afraid of snakes. I was like, oh, dude, that's that's uncool. <laughs> Rowan Shade. No, but it's a good warning to put in because, yeah, people have issues. All right, so we are going to need another chamomile and some more bandages. So let's grab... It's getting near the end of the day. I think tomorrow we might try to go up into the mountain to go get the... Uh, to go get the torch. So very useful. It is free. It's awesome. There's also another Liana vine over on this other path by a little pillar. We already grabbed that one. Ah, damn it, scorpion. Don't poison me. Don't poison me. Yes. Excellent. Okay. We have some fuel for the fire. Once you get the skill to see them, it's actually kind of fun to hunt snakes. Eh. Habit from long dark to pick up every free stick you, you don't need to harvest. You know, it is a good thing to uh, start doing. Let's actually upgrade this guy because, you know, we can. One, two, three. So upgrading it allows us to cook more stuff, and it also lowers the amount of fuel that is consumed. Currently, my head is slightly in the way. Oh, no, you can see it. Fuel consumption is 70 units per hour. We upgrade it. It goes down to 60 units per hour, and it unlocks a couple more blueprints. So we are going to do just that. We'll move it slightly closer to our head. That way I can light my hair on fire during the middle of the night. Because, hey, in this game... You know? Okay, uh, what time of day is it? Alright, it's starting to get late, but I think we still have time. This. We'll do the cooking this evening. We'll have seven hours worth of cooking time. Okay. I want to find a brown coconut because I would like to get a coconut flask up and running. And I thought there was another brown coconut lying on the ground over here. I could be wrong. It might have just been that one we busted open. Alright. We're going to hop the wall here. We're going to grab one from the next beach because there are definitely some over here. Oh, you want to know something that a lot of people don't know about? We're at the edge of the beach here between uh, Starting Beach and Crab Beach. If you look right underwater here, small rock, small rock, massive stone. Would you look at that? A lot of people have never seen those. Couple stones just offshore. Very useful. I'm also going to keep picking up some more of these shells because shells are actually a really good source of food. A coconut tree. I know there are several 
coconuts that we can pick up going the other direction. I couldn't remember if there are any over this way. It's like, who ate all the coconuts out here? Uh, I can't remember. Yep, Crab Beach. Yeah, there are no coconuts out here. Okay, that's unfortunate. Alright, we'll have to go the other direction. That's okay. We will uh, run back, light the fire, hopefully light it like the first time. Uh, nope, we can't pick up that stone. Running around is never a bad thing because we'll get our athletics up. Sound like I dropped something, but I didn't. Just sounded that way. Leaves. There are some coconuts on the island over there, I believe. Could always swim over there. We'll leave that massive stone for later. One of the nice things they added between the demo version of the game and the early access is the ability to deconstruct all the debris on the beach and kind of the ability to salvage and deconstruct like a lot of stuff you see out in the wilderness. A lot of the trees and fallen trees and stuff like that, uh, you can break apart now. Um, and I didn't think they were going to go that far. They were like, okay, we could we could make it to where the stuff on the beach. Yeah, sure, that makes sense. And it did. Um, we are not going to be able to cook tonight because it is dark. All of a sudden, with the setting of the sun, our chance to get a fire starter has gone from like a 4% chance of injury up to like a 40% chance of injury. And we're not going to toss those dice. Those are not dice that we are going to toss. Uh, we're going to lose this crab, though, if we don't. Do we give it one try? 14% chance. One try. Yep, we can't. We have to sleep. And our water's low now as well, so... Crab spoiled. Oh, well. Cost the spoiled food over there for right now. Do I want to deal with this currently? Do I want to wait? How are these guys doing? Still got life on them. Bananas are still good, too. All right. Grab a piece of bread. Eat the bread. Go. All right. We need to go up into the mountains... Because I need bamboo. So I can go two places for bamboo. Forgot that I don't have a map right now. I can go up into the mountains and then snake around to the water source. Or I can go to the back side of these mountains and go up by the altar. And I think I'm going to go up towards the altar. You know what? We haven't actually gone to the grotto yet. The grotto has some coconuts there. 
But we do need the bamboo. We need the bamboo. So... How much do we got left on our pokey stick? We still got a little bit on our pokey stick. All right. Um... Let's go up into the mountain. If that breaks our stone axe, we're going to repair it. Okay. Um, I just want to grab one stick just so we can make a replacement pokey stick. Probably going to need one here in a minute. Did you figure out any use for those floating boxes we can pick up? Uh, before you could deconstruct them, and now you can't. So, I don't know why they did away with that. Uh, but I, I, I thought you could deconstruct them in the demo. I could be wrong, but I th thought that was a possibility. So it might just be something that they're going to re-implement at some point. All right, while we're uh, while we are over here, where it's full, <clears throat> we're gonna go over here and hit this giant head. Ah, uh, strength one, wonderful. Whenever you see a shiny object, you want to use it, because this will give you story points for the civilization, but more importantly, it will give you perk points. So we are going to use our perk points specifically for us right now. We're going to be worrying about hydration. So we're going to go hydration first, and then we're going to go sleep next. Because this will give us plus five water whenever we eat any food that contains water. So it is a massive increase of hydration. And then after that, we will go and do sleeping because it increases the amount of sleep or energy we get while we sleep, which is quite nice. Running up the side of a mountain. It's a nice little workout. <clears throat> Once again, if anybody has questions, please ask them. That is the kind of the reasoning behind why I started doing all this stuff. I had free time on my hands, so I started to stream, and uh, I like helping people out when they have different questions and different situations. All right, where is the snake? There he is. We can slide past them, so we can and will. Now the snake will slide around a little bit every once in a while, so make sure we're careful, because he might not be in the exact same place you left him. So here's that free stone pickaxe that was on our 10 helpful tips video. As is this torch that we're gonna go pick up. Once I get the torch, lighting a fire no longer is an issue. Because we'll basically try and keep our torch lit as long as possible. And once we get our chemistry bench up and running, that becomes even easier because we'll be able to make replacement fuels. And uh, we're making replacement fuel isn't that hard. We'll just have to go find a peccary or a uh, <clears throat> boar. It's going to get dark in here, guys, for a minute. Trying to see any scorpions. Is there in here? All right, here's one of the maps. We'll grab that. We're going to continue down this path of the cave here. And we are going to grab ourselves a torch. Torch is wonderful in all things. Chance of ignition is 100%. I mean, so, yeah. 
and we can keep it lit for a long time. It does not go out easily. Oh, you know what? Uh, as long as we're here, I should pick up the flint as well. Uh, you can make the stationary lamps to build the camp in last days, and you can light a torch from it. Yep, indeed. We will be doing that, but it won't be right off the bat. One piece of flint. Now, the flint is limited. I would love to see more sources of flint. Um, because there isn't a lot of it around, but oh, is it wonderful. It's much easier to light stuff with a flint. Um, if you've watched some more of my stuff, I am a big proponent of um, scorpion bite. Don't get poisoned. Don't get poisoned. All right. Didn't get poisoned. We will take him with us though. <clears throat> Grab another points. I don't really need the bird, uh, bird potion right now, but we'll grab it. And let's get on top of here. All right, there we go. We'll grab that living water. That is one of the four living water locations that we talked about in today's video over on the YouTube channel. So, if you are looking for living water, go and watch the today's video. Right. Go. Just get that knocked out of the way. But we are on a hunt for bamboo. We're already pretty high on our weight limit, so we're not going to be able to bring much back with us. We're definitely not going to be able to bring any clay back. Uh, we need to make a backpack. I probably should have made a backpack. But, uh... Not really worrying about that just yet. But it definitely would give us a little more carrying capacity. We'll do that when we go back to camp. We'll grab a couple more big branches. And some narrow leaves. Or some wide leaves. So we can make some... If there's a snake there, there's also a snake here. Can we land the headshot? Yes, we can. It's the only way you can kill these guys. With the wooden spear. Wooden spear is not a guaranteed kill on snakes. There we go. We got lucky though. Actually, some of that might be because we did level up our throwing already. So throwing... No, that's just aiming speed. All right. Now, before we go in on this, dude, let's spend that one point, just so I remember to. So, better sleep increases our energy recovery rate by 10%. Wonderful. Come here, doggo. And it is in a spot that I don't like. Beat him to death with a torch. All right. Not the ideal way to do things, but uh, hey, it works. Okay. So we've gotten one of the things that we really wanted. The other thing that we're going to grab while we're here is a cattail. We're also going to take a drink of water because why not? All right, so now that we have a cattail, and this guy we're just going to drop because there's no use in keeping him around. Water is getting kind of low. We are going to manufacture a bamboo flask here. And then I'm going to flask up the rest of that water. There we go. We will pick this guy up. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna slow walk all the way back down the mountain. So at least we now have the the recipe shown, or the clay. We'll be back for the clay.
I think is how long you hold a spear back. It says 1x damage if the notification for the snakes kills. Uh, y yes and no. There is a kind of damage range I've seen on on uh, the weapons, which isn't that big of a deal. I mean, a lot of weapons are like, it guarantees this amount of damage, but it can do more, you know? So I believe it kind of falls along those same lines. And also with it, uh, you can hit crits. So crits are wonderful. And I always associate crits with headshots. Uh, that's the FPS player in me. But in this game, it's not necessarily the same thing. So you can get body crits as well. The crits are great because, yeah, then things die a lot faster. Uh, do we want to... No, I said I was not going to slow walk back down this mountain. I should have made some charcoal. We're going to be coming back for the... Uh, play here in the not too distant it's also not a terrible idea to uh, walk around over encumbered especially if it's not that bad because you will gain uh, your strength stat faster when you're over encumbered Twenty-five. Now, I'm not going to do this on hard mode because falling damage is a pain, literally in hard mode. But there are ways to kind of jump down the mountain a little easier. Do I need the workbench for this? Yeah, I do. I don't know why I need the workbench to learn how to take two items and then bang them together. But, alright game. We'll do what you s Okay, I jump up there every single time. We'll take the other route. I said, take the other route. This way we don't have to chop a hole through the briars. Or take damage trying to walk through them. Just go around them instead. We'll let gravity do the hard work for us. Toss our tool off the edge. Pick it up down below. Maybe. There it is. Can we... Get you. What I wanted to do. Oh, hundred percent ignition chance. I mean, it's not a hundred percent chance to light it, but man, now we have this wonderful torch. It means we can work out here in the dark, and when we get back to camp, we can light up that fire. And not have a care in the world. Uh, 13. Let's take a couple of sips. <clears throat> so, on hard and very hard, this is the reasoning that we just did what we did. One of the best things that you can make is the juice palm juice collector the palm juice collector is absolutely amazing and if you haven't made one yet uh one you are making life more difficult on yourself don't do that and two uh make one make one today 
It's great. I'm going to run past these small sticks and not pick them up just to bother uh, Vicky. <clears throat> Speaking of picking up all those sticks, so we're, we're going to ignore those. Oh, come on. Yeah, at least now we have the stone pick, so if we want to go get some more obsidian, we can do so a lot easier. <clears throat> the number of people that still complain that there's not enough stone around in this game... Is just amazing. Uh, it's like there are so many, so many, so many stones, literally everywhere. It just, I just cannot understand. I've been seeing that over on the forums. It's like there aren't any stones. It's so hard to find a stone. It's like, dude, there are stones everywhere. I made a video in the demo with every single stone pile. On the Island of Hope. I put a beacon on each one and it lights up the night sky. 27 different stone piles on the Island of Hope. And that's not counting all the loose stone and the massive stones and the massive stone mines. Let's go light this thing up. I don't have any meats to cook. Well, we do have one thing to cook. going to need that's not what I want to do we need a replacement for that though. I should have grabbed all this stuff before I'm walking slow now this was a little unadvised to do it this way but oh well Craft this guy up. We're gonna have to sleep. How long is this gonna go for? You know what? I probably should have waited. Uh, you know what? We're gonna extinguish this. We're gonna go to sleep with our torch lit because, you know, sounds safe. <laughs> torch right next to me going, yep, we're good. All right, put our torch out. Don't need that anymore. All right, so let's pick up these roasted bananas. And we are going to cook up two of these. And we'll do up another one of these. And what do we need more? More wide leaves. We'll cup, uh, cook up a couple more of these steam leaf bandages. There they are. 
hang on a second, we need some water. All right, bandages. And lastly, we will cook up some of these guys. 2%! All right, well, we're going to cook up more now. Uh, craft some charcoal. That 2% cry just went out again. I told you it would happen. All right. Put you... Now we have some roasted bananas to eat. One extra banana that will probably spoil, but oh well. Let's refill the uh, pharmacy over here. We'll keep one bandage with us, just in case. Okay. Let's go to the Let's go to the cave Clear this stuff over there Oh, you know what? Do I have enough for the leaf backpack? I think I do It's what, two and three? Two, two, and two. All right, so we have a little extra carrying capacity for jaunt. Uh, you know what? Let's grab a sleep. We do this over the night hours, maybe? We can do that. Rope. Yeah, I could, should grab the rope. Map. Of course. This is why I wanted to go over there, was to grab the coconut so I can make my coconut flask. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Torch is useless right now. I didn't grab the rope either. That's okay. We're not. We're just headed out over this direction. We'll grab it when we come back. <sighs> so we're gonna strip down Ponce's camp. Once we get back to camp here, we'll take a quick break, a couple minutes, get up, stretch the legs, start some coffee, trying to get into the habit of getting up a couple minutes every hour. Uh, it's better for me. It's better for you guys, too. So we'll take a break here in a minute or two, um, or a minute or two, that is. See? Critical. Critical! Nope. Alright, uh, there we go. Advance the story. Well, 
Captain Juan Ponce de Leon. Juan Ponce de Leon. One map, two maps. Coconuts. Leaves. Jatoba gum. More sticks. Alright, um... We are going to disassemble this. Yeah, there's no reason, no reason to grab the mushrooms until later. Uh, we can't dry them yet. And as soon as you pick them, they are on a spoil timer. So we are not going to mess with them until later. Not going to do it until later on. That's why I left the ones up top, too. They're okay for, you know, drying. When you dry them, they're fine as a food. Now, the thing that you want to start doing as soon as possible. So, kind of our next step. We're going to get up our, our uh, date palm juice collector palm juice collector that's what it is but it is located on the date palms we'll grab our palm juice collector and then kind of the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to start building our kind of industrial side we'll start making up the workbench we'll make up the crafting uh, the carpentry workbench uh, we'll get those guys set up that way we can start to make kind of the mid-tier items maybe get a chemistry workbench up and running that'll allow us to start doing some other interesting things we'll try and get a water collector up just in case it ever rains again It is one of those survival tasks you can do for perk points. Yep. I mean, I don't know, man. I Passing the stone tech really brings a tear to my eye because I beelined all stone. Like, the improved axe got it day one, you know? My stone spear, I got it like day two or three, you know, when I was playing the demo. It was like straight beeline, grab the workbench, stone stuff, don't have to worry about anything else. And now it's like, oh, well, I'll use the wood stuff and I'll just bypass stone. Tears. You know? Although I think we're going to actually make the obsidian axe instead because we'll get more use out of that. Okay, so... Let's get a little bit. We're going to sleep until morning. There we go. All right. Now that it's light out, we're going to make a Liana rope. And now we are going to make a coconut flask. We actually need another Liana rope. That's grab that. Make another Liana rope. Uh, these guys. And where do we leave that bamboo? There's the bamboo. Okay. So now that we have our bamboo, we have our Liana rope, and we have our coconut flask, what we're going to do is come on over here to our date palm. And we are going to go over here, and we're going to hit blueprints. 
We're going to use the palm juice collector. We're going to strap this sucker right to the side of this date palm. Put everything in there. Craft it up. And now we have one of the best sources of hydration, especially in hard and very hard, in the game. Because it will slowly fill up with juice. And the juice is great because it gives us hydration and food. It's wonderful. It is absolutely wonderful. And there are a couple more date palms in different areas of the beach. And I think what we'll do is we'll kind of make satellite bases, for lack of a better term. Or maybe we'll put down some docks on other island uh, parts of the island so we can fast travel around the island a little bit easier. And when we do that, we'll put our dock by a date palm tree that we'll have one of these there. That way we can always have some hydration. Smart set, smart ideas. Smart, smart, smarts. But did we pick up that rope? There it is. All right. Um, okay. Let's start laying out the base. We don't really need a canopy because we are using our navel coat. So usually it would be like the first thing that we place down. It does protect us from rain, but I'm not going to be too concerned about that. Right now, we're just going to toss anything anywhere. They have said, and this is great. I don't know if everyone follows the Discord and different stuff like that. But they have stated that they are going to make this switch in lower number of degrees. This is one of the things when I started testing this pre-release of the early access. It was one of the first things I told them. I said, you know... These degree snaps, no good. I can't tell if they're like 15 or 20 degree snaps. But yeah, it's like you should allow us to be able to freely rotate all the way through the 360 degrees. Like, Because sometimes you just want, especially when you're decorating a house, you want things to look a certain way. So and I think they should also be, allow us to, it's one of the things I've talked to them about, but they haven't set anything on but say we make like a axe right and say we break the axe we can either destroy the axe maybe we can get some components back from the axe or we can repair the axe what if we had the possibility instead of just dropping said axe to place the axe and it took the axe and allowed us to spin it kind of like this and we could like place it on a thing and it became like a decorative item. That would be amazing. I really want them to do that. I really want them to do that. I don't want it that high. I guess we can put it over here. I guess it's going to be that high anyways. All right. Okay. All right, next up. Mask and dryer. We'll need some split logs for the other things. Okay. So that's the only one we can technically place now. That's fine. Go get some more long sticks. So our shopping list right now is long sticks. Or water. Alright. Long sticks. Rope. Twigs. Rope. Twigs. We might have enough rope and twigs right now. Right. I said I was going to take a break, and I, I, uh, I'm going to. Where do they go? I said we need a log, and we need two long sticks. Alright, before we do that, we are going to 
take a wee bit of a break. We've been streaming now for a little bit over an hour. So now is a good enough time as any to uh, kind of take a minute, stretch the legs, look at something that is not a computer screen. You know, girl, grab yourself something, a drink or something like that. And we will be back here in just a couple of minutes. So don't go anywhere, guys. I shall return. Have a good one. Be right back.
Okay, I have taken a minute to stretch the legs. Let's get back into things here. Coffee is brewing. I'm happy about that. Oh. I wonder if I can build one in the lagoon. That'd be pretty close to the center of the island. Yes. Yes, you can. All right. So, need some food. I think we're going to go on a massive shell harvesting two hours. There's the stomach ache. Kind of we're expecting that. I think what we're going to do this evening is we're not very w much damage. We're at 84 out of 100, but I think we can get that up to full. Starting to get a late, so I think what we're going to do, we might be able to grab the two. So I think there are still two left up here. Get, no, 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 get uphill, uphill. There we go, uphill. It's a steep hill, man. Woo, okay. Took a, f took a little bit of flight there. Not necessarily a good thing. Oh, okay. So let's light up the torch. Really, we were at the edge? Oh, that's fine. Get hit with the torch, son. Can't wait anymore. We gotta, gotta climb. We gotta map. Okay. Map. And we're sleepy. I was hoping to be able to get... My hope was I was going to be able to chop down that tree as well today. And I won't say that the scorpion screwed that up, but he made it more difficult. Stumble our way down the hill. Yeah, just watch in the morning. We're going to go grab some of that juice. You're going to be like, oh my goodness. Why have I never used that? And you would be right. Why have you never used that? Uh, tummy a cure. Do we want to... Uh, orange! Roll free. Well, that didn't help it roll free. Up, oh, up. Oh. <gasps> we saved the orange. Yep. We're not going to be able to get enough food to heal. That's fine. Oh. 
make that in the morning. I know I'm working at night, so it's hard to see, but just allow me my work in the dark. Okay, let's sleep. We'll sleep to just... You know what? We're going to sleep actually an hour over. Get a little more rest on us. Mambu! I have a question. I am a little frog person, and this giant lizard guy is always mean to me. Is it because he wished he was a frog person? Um... Probably not. It's probably that he knows that uh, as a as a lizard person, he is uh, superior to the the frog person. Um, and it's it's. I mean, that's no fault of the frog person. It's it's, it's just the stated fact. I mean, the frog person's smaller, smellier. Uh, he has weird little antenna things, you know. For those of you who are severely confused right now, uh, Mambu and I do a series in Star Wars Galaxies, Star Wars Universe, so he plays a Rodian, which is a frog person, and I play a Transdotion, which is a a, uh, a lizard person, and my, uh, my, my lizard person has a slight superiority com uh, complex. Slight. All right. Let's go chop us down a tree. First, let's take a look at this. Look at this. Our palm juice collector now has four out of five. So we are going to take these into our flask, which you can also do. You can take your juice on the run. So now we have a juice box. We now officially have a juice box. I should probably kill this doggo over here so we can cook him up. Gotcha. Where's that freaking snake at? I heard him. Come at me, bro. my spear all right so what we're gonna do instead i was going to cut down or grab some breadfruit i'm not gonna be able to until i kill that snake so we'll leave that snake be instead what we'll do is we'll come back over here and we will grab d log now the number of logs you get just like any other resource is dependent on your difficulty level. The higher the difficulty level, the more stuff that you're going to be able to uh, harvest. This is with all things. Uh, where it shows the most is when you go to like rock piles. Very easy, easy. You get like eight rocks out of a rock pile. Very hard. Two. <laughs> Two rocks. That's it. If you want more than that, sorry. Find another pile. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I've never understood people who go, oh, I can't find any rocks. It's like, dude, I play on very hard where rock piles have two, and you're not able to find enough to uh, survive on very easy? What's going on here? This makes no sense to me. Construct this. Now... How am I already tired? I didn't heal my nappy time. 
We're going to have to do some more cooking. Let's, let's, let's sleep kind of towards morning. We're going to get a full day's sleep. All right, that's a full day sleep or a full energy bar worth of sleep. And let's, uh, wind penalty. Yeah, the wind. Boom. Light up the torch, which is quicker than lighting up the fire. And we'll light up the fire. Oh, I could have used something to make that faster too, but oh well. We're going to add some more fuel to this fire. Can I add fuel to the fire? We're going to say something to... Oh, I didn't cook up the starfish. They spoiled. Damn it. Uh, oh, well. It happens. Uh, I got distracted doing other things. I should have I should have checked those. That, that was a waste. Oh, I hate wasting resources like that. That really... That really... Hurts. Okay. That's a painful one. That's a painful one for me. Okay, so what do we need? We need another chamomile. We don't have any more chamomile. You know what? I think that's all we need right now. Oh, I can't believe I let those spoil. All right, there are starfish in other areas, but... Mm, that, that, that bothers me greatly. Okay, um, we're going to grab you. We're going to grab... We're going to need another long stick. Oh, and I didn't eat those either. Damn it. Man, I just wasted a ton of food. Uh, that is not shiny, but oh well. Unfortunate. Let's go get some long sticks. Because I, I still had those four mollusks in my inventory and I didn't eat them before they spoiled. So, yeah. Uh, can't do stuff like that on hard and very hard mode. I mean, no reason to make things more difficult on myself. But, hey, apparently that's what I'm doing. All right. Small protected box for the win. Yes, indeed. I just haven't made one yet. I was operating under the uh, thought process of, you know what? I'll just be smart and look after the spoil timers and it won't be an issue. And then it was an issue. So, yeah. Uh, ego got in the way of uh, being smart. So, yeah. It happens. The thing is, I could build one of those boxes right now without much of an issue. It's just, I chose not to, so. And had I been paying better attention, uh, we could have gotten away without building a box. But we probably should anyways. All right, so we are going to grab a stone spear, which is what we're going to be using for the current time. Uh, one of the reasons why I do like the stone spear, I mean, the obsidian spear is really nice, especially if you're going to be fighting things like the jackals. So making one going into jackal territory is probably a great idea. Also the boar. That being said, if you land your stopping blow, it doesn't matter. It'll just take more time. Uh... The nice thing about the stone spear is you can one uh, one shot hit 
basically a lot of the little things. So the harpy, the small dogs, the snakes, stuff like that. And they repair with a stone. You don't need more obsidian. So they are quite helpful in that regard. We're going to... And you can also make the, your initial one with a used stone cutter. We haven't used a stone cutter on anything yet, so... We'll just make one and... I hate burning it, but we will. Make the stone spear. Alright, so we're going to equip this. We're going to get grab another rope. Look at this. We're going to actually have to go get some more liana. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. Grabbing one at some point for the perk point is good. But for survivability, uh, actually, it's, it's a, yeah, there it is. Uh, it's, it's one of those things where yes, you should do it, but I think the stone spear right now is probably better just because obsidian is not nearly as abundant as stone. Uh, but I definitely agree that you get the perk point, which is wonderful, and it does more damage. So, you know, uh, we will make the flint. We'll make the flint. Because we're not going to use the flint until we bust our bow spindle, because why waste it? But now we have a better fire starter. Also eat this breadfruit. Yep. You know what? Let's let's do this more specifically so we can keep our baked cake for longer. So let's craft up a box. What? Only four? Uh, you know what? We can grab two sticks off the beach. Surely there are two sticks left on the beach over here. Surely there are two sticks left on the beach over here. Maybe. There are two sticks left on the beach over here. One stick. Two stick, red stick. I don't see the blue stick. And up oh, there's the blue stick. Blue stick. Thank you for that sub over on the YouTube side of things. Very much appreciated. If you guys didn't know, I am streaming both to Twitch and YouTube at the same time. The YouTube side of things looks better because I can broadcast at a higher bit rate over there. The Twitch side of things, uh, when you join, uh, become a subscriber over there, uh, you get little perks. So yeah, there's a little bit for everyone. Let's build this. Then we are going to upgrade you. Oh, we need more Liana rope because we are officially out of Liana rope. Okay. Okay, then. Let's get stuff put in here. Uh, I'm just going to dump everything in here right now. J 
just to clean up the area a little bit. That way we can see a little easier what we have. Oh, there is that extra egg. All right, we're going to go on a Liana rope run. Which means we're going to have to repair a stone axe. Or, 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 do we make the obsidian axe right now? For that, we're going to need the long handle. So we're still going to need... At least one more repair on the stone axe. Get about a full night's sleep. PP plus it will last forever. Yeah, I know. Um, but to be perfectly honest, a lot of the perk points, don't get me wrong, we're going to be spending them. I mean, we have two perk points here we haven't spent yet. So uh, we will spend another one into the nutrition because more food, more better. So we'll learn that. And then, at this point, things get a little more interesting. These guys, hydration first, sleep second, food third. Then after that, we have the choice for clean water hydrates 25% more. That's great. Slows down starvation while sleeping. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. Um, increases chance of recovering from all diseases in sleep by 20%. That's probably the next one that's really good. Uh, if you can recover from sleep, uh, recover from diseases while sleeping, that's great. Um, the other one that we're going to look for is this one right here. This is what we're going to pick up next because this reduces the indigestion chance from eating food by 30%, which is massive. Uh, but I'm going to, I think this is going to be Thursday's video where I'm going to go over the perk points. I'm going to kind of rank them. I don't know if I'll do a complete tier list, but uh, I'm definitely going to go over things and kind of lay out how I like to do stuff. And uh, to be perfectly honest, a lot of these... Meh. Um, I don't really ever use concentration. Only time I ever pick up concentration is if I've tossed my spear and I can't find it. And then I'll burn a point in concentration and find my spear. And that's it. Um, you know, if you have the navy coat, you don't have to worry about getting sick from diseases. So, yeah, there is a lot of things that you can do. I'm going to pick up the juice from the date palm. All right, so the tree is now run out of juice. It will regenerate the juice. It will rejuice the juice. And it doesn't take very long. It's like by tomorrow, it should be giving juice again. It's about a day's downtime between no juice and more juice. So, I mean, we haven't even hit it yet. And we have basically a full flask of, of uh, palm juice, which is great and tasty. We're going to go grab Liana Rope. We're going to grab a couple of big uh, big branches. And we cleared this tree. We'll have to go down the far tree or we go in here. All right, let's grab the branches first. Grab these fire starters as we go up the hill. All right, so to grab uh, for these three kind of free branches, what we're going to do. I'll guide you in here where the path curves around between the forest and the valley here. We're going to basically go straight up this hill. We're going to go past these big rocks. We're going to go all the way to the top of this hill. 
All right, now we've crested the hill and you should be by these rocks in this rock ledge over here. And this is exactly where you wanna be. Now there is a log, big branch over here. So we'll grab that one. There's a big branch over here. We'll grab this one. And then there should be another one. I think it's right over here, question mark? Or is it over here? There's another one right around here somewhere. Yeah, I hear you. Go away. Uh oh. The boar is looking at us. Alright, other big branch, where are you? I mean, we don't need the third one right now. But I can carry it, so why not take it? But yeah, there's the one there. Is it closer to this edge? Is that where it's at? All right, I've lost my big branch, y'all. How embarrassing. Can't find my big branch. Oh well. At some point we'll come back up here and we'll find it. Because it's lying around here somewhere on the ground. I just, I just... I'm at a loss. All right. Do we have enough for the coconut rain collector? Yeah, I think we do. Oh, the coconut rain collector. Oh, we didn't need one for that. That's right. We only need small sticks. I keep forgetting it's so much more basic. Scramble down this hillside. There are also some big branches inside of this jungle area too, but we would have to get past the uh, boar to get them. And I don't want to go past the board until we have our uh, boxes up and running because we will want to be able to preserve all that meat and fat we get off of it. So we'll try and get our chemistry bench up as well as our dehydration drying rack. And then we'll go boar hunting so we can use that stuff to... Better use. We'll also have to make our fireplace bigger. I should have cut down those coconuts before I made the spear. All right. Well, that was done. Let's make the... It was a long handle, wasn't it? I need a hammer for it too. That's right. I'll make a wood hammer. I had a hammer. I had a hammer in the morning. Okay. So now we have an obsidian axe, which is wunderbar. We will store this guy right here. Use him around the camp a little bit. 
how is our jacket doing? 7.6 days. All right, so to get a replacement for that guy, we're going to need leather, which is going to take a while. We're going to have to go to the other island. I don't think we're going to be doing that in 7.6 days. Uh, we could get started on such things, though. Either by doing storyline missions or by making a canoe, we could go up there. <clears throat> Can you place custom map markers on blank map? Can I place... Yes, but then again, it would be hard to tell where you are too, but you can place map markers outside of your visible, what you've mapped. So yes, how effective it actually will be, that's up to you in remembering where everything is. Okay, so we needed some more Liana rope. Do I want to burn this? Green coconuts used to be a lot more valuable because of their use when going out sailing. Now they're not as needed. So that's kind of nice. What time of day is it? Midday. All right, we're going to go try and grab these Liana. And hopefully we won't have to fight the boar. We might be able to get up there and not have to fight the boar. We'll get that spear soon enough. We're going to be picking up obsidian and some other locations. <clears throat> We'll definitely get the obsidian before we go to uh, Copper Island. Damn it. That's a peccary, okay. I thought that was a boar running up on me. I thought we had issues. All right. Getting a boar, uh, peccary would not be that bad. Okay. Couple more leaves. I thought that was going to be a miss. Level two throwing. That means we're awesome. There are 10 levels when it comes to that type of stuff. Come on. Come on. That's also why we picked up the better fire starter. Uh, 
We need to go get some more chamomile. Guess what skill you got level 10 first? Well, you said you were in Crab Island, so probably, or Crab Beach, so probably throwing? Although, athletics and swimming are actually pretty easy to level too. You can get swimming real quick if you do a lot of out there stuff. So neither of those would surprise me either. Sleep until morning. I wasn't grinding. Got it naturally. Yeah. Having to grind out things isn't really that big. There was some stuff that you would kind of have to grind out a little bit. Like, uh... Well, no. I mean, medicine is kind of... You can grind stuff out by just making stuff, so... Well, everything you kind of get naturally. It was drying. Okay. Drying, drying is kind of strange because you get a lot of points for it when you dry something. I did notice that I was leveling up that drying skill really quick. Like, so you know what? That doesn't actually surprise me. That, that makes sense. Um, because, yeah, that, I do remember that that was pretty quick through those. Oh, um, oops. Talking about not watching my levels, just took some health hits there. Oh, well. Uh, upgrade. I need six wide leaves. Yeah, I did notice that drawing does give a lot. And once you get to the point where you have a uh, water distillery online, uh, you can just go to town with drying stuff. Uh, and there's very little reason not to dry stuff. Dates are especially awesome to dry because they gain water. How you gain water when you dry something, not sure, but it goes from like no water to like lots of water. I think like 15 water or something like that. It's insane. Well, that's a thing. <laughs> oh, it's going to let me move it anyways. It's like, you can't do that. There are things in it. Never mind. We'll let you do it. You asked nicely. You were per you persevered and you tried a second time. Yeah, sure. Why not? We actually dropped down the chemistry bench yet. No. What? <clears throat> oh, yeah, of course, we need split logs. Uh, okay, let's go chop down a tree. Hello, we need a tree. I don't care about these trees. They're small and ugly and in the way, so... You know what? We are going to turn them into something more useful. Some split logs. I love just carrying stuff on your shoulders. Like, yeah, look at me. Tough guy. Or tough gal. Although, every single time that something here, something that is heavy enough to be carried on your shoulder, 
uh, usually, if it is a gal, they're going, will you do this for me? And I go, sure. But, yeah, okay. Just saying. All right, so now we can make that chemistry bench. Or not. There it is. We will need some clay for it, which is way not here. But the other thing we are going to be making is, or at least setting out, is this guy right here. Don't have enough sticks. We'll grab a couple more stick, a couple more sticks. Uh, we are going to have to get some more hydration. Well, we're going to make a. I know we're losing health because of sleepiness but we're exhausted who cares I don't care because we're going to fix that right now boom full health we are good to go alright so today uh, small sticks more boards. Do we go for the piece of clay? I think we can. Cause I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drag the cart all the way up to the clay. Because of that, we are going to drop as much weight as possible. Uh. So we'll drop you. So we'll drop you. We'll drop you. Keep two of these. Uh, drop you. We'll grab the water up there. Drop you. We can also drop this. I never leave home without my torch. But for this specific outing, we are going to. Because we need as much free weight as we possibly can. We're headed back up the mountain, guys. Back up the mountain. How do resources to build a cart wait? So you would build it in the mountains? Oh, and then just bring it down the mountain? Interesting idea. The hard part would be the split logs. Split logs are a little weighty, but they're not massively weighty. You could go up with all the components for a cart and then just have that in your inventory. And you could definitely get up to the top of the mountain Fill it up and then drag it back. That's actually a, a interesting way of doing it. That's that's very viable. That's quite viable. Had I read that beforehand, I might have just done that, but we're all the way out here now. But yeah, that's that's actually that's actually something that I might just steal for my own purposes. Helpful Hints, Volume 2. That might just very well be on there. Vance cooking is pretty OP. You uh, cook something using 5 water and the result dish gives you like 30 plus water. Yeah. Once you get into some of the higher level cookings and stuff like that, I won't say that watching your food, uh, nutrition and hydration becomes something of the past. But obviously, you have to worry much less about it. 
Um, and eventually, did you know that you, that once you get to the, I mean, literally, once you get to Copper Island, you never have to sleep again, ever, the rest of the game. You do not have to sleep. You can work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Never, ever will ever have to take a single hour of sleep. It's amazing. The reason behind that? Coffee. Speaking of. Speaking of, it was time for more coffee. Once you get to the Copper Island, you can find the coffee plant. You can pick the coffee beans. You can take them and you can put them on your dryer and you can dry them out into usable coffee beans. And then you can make the coffee drink. And it's coffee and water. That's it. And it gives you, I believe, some like 70 energy. So you literally do not have to sleep ever again in game. Ever. Coffee. It's the wonder drug. Surprise, a hole. <laughs> I've almost ended my uh, Lone Survivor runs before accidentally running up that scaffolding a little too fast and throwing myself off the side of it. That's happened. It's unfortunate. Avoid the scorpions. Just ignoring them and going around. <laughs> Yummy. You want to try and avoid the scorpions in there, run on the benches. Scorpions don't like benches. They have no butts in which to sit on them. Okay, so we have once again returned to the innermost water source. Are there new snakes around? Not yet. Yes, there is. Oh, that's close. Oh, that was really close. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> I'm all shaky, guys. I'm all shaky. Uh, like I said, I have issues with certain things. Snakes would be one of them. Actually, snakes are pretty much all of them. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, what were we doing? Clay, Clay. <laughs> Sorry, got really unfocused there for a second. Clay. Can we carry back the third piece of clay? Yes, but we're slightly overweight, so we're going to be slow going. And unfortunately, it's cloudy, too. I was hoping to do some mapping. Hmm. Up we go. Up. Up we go. More up. Drop you right there. Stay. Okay, we're in the right spot, but it's cloudy. Uh... Gonna rest one hour. Early game, come on. <clears throat> oh, come on, game. Fine, you win. We won't do any mapping. Don't know why you're so anti-mapping developers, but whatever. Remember, <sighs> all right. You know what? We're going to have to come back for additional clay, anyways, to make the kiln. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave this clay over here by this rock. We're just going to run back a little bit faster. We do have enough clay to make the chemistry bench. Cannot believe we got some rain. And I don't have a coconut rain catcher. Should build a coconut rain catcher. Of course, as soon as I build a coconut rain catcher, it will stop raining. Forever. It will only be sunny. Unless I want to go mapping. And then it will be cloudy. But it will only ever be cloudy. It will never rain ever again. Level 2 strength. Wonderful. Means I can carry more stuff. Ooh. Give me a break, eh, game? We need a rain dance. 
Eat a poison mushroom and dance around a fire for eight hours to trigger rain. You know? Gotcha. You're mine, sir. By the way, that's a shortcut down the mountain. That way you don't have to walk all the way down the rest of the uh, path. Saves a couple in-game minutes. You know what? Let's go grab these trees. The fruit on these trees is kind of garbage. It doesn't give you much in the way of nutrition. But well, I wish these Platonia, I mean, great name, great name, but it's, it's garbage food. Come on, come on. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. We're going to have this fight. We're gonna have this fight. Even if I have to stand on your stand on your damn nest. Come on. Get roasted. Oh look at that. He landed on his nest. Isn't that cute? Oh, I don't have a cutter with me, though. That's fine. I mean, we only really want the eggs anyways. All right. Uh, how much does this one of these guys weigh? 1.5 each. What's our weight at right now? 27. Uh, that's what, 28 is when we get overweight? I was thinking about killing that dude up there, but I'm not going to. And we left a couple Plantonia on the trees. Would be cool if we could ride the cart downhill. Uh, it is kind of a steep hill, okay? You know, if you've ever driven in the mountains, they put up the signs that are like this type of grade. And it's not a big grade. It's like, what, 7% grade? <laughs> that mountain is much more than that. And I don't know if the cart has brakes either. <laughs> oh, just be out of control all the way down the mountain. Lean into the curve. Ah. It would be a uh, memorable moment, though. Give that. Give it that. All right. So we're going to need two split logs, which won't be an issue. store all this food in there we need a couple more small sticks we'll get the small sticks when we get the split logs or the common log for the split logs now let's sleep until the morning hours uh you know what hang on a second we're at full health basically full water for all that stuff Let's take a minute just before we go to sleep to line out some more stuff. The wonderful old drying rack. Upgrade you. 
Yeah, we don't have the fired pot yet. To get the fired pot, we are going to have to make the kiln, which we cannot yet make. Because we don't have... Oh, we did have two pieces, but I decided to... I mean, we could pull it out of the... But we're still going to have to go back anyway, so... Not really... Doesn't matter. Um... Kiln. Uh, log cart. Tanner workbench. Starter Tanner workbench doesn't do much for us. It could. That's uh, the next level Tanner workbench. Um. Did you try building a ho house? I heard it eliminates the injuries when crafting, etc. You probably only need like two logs and one stone to make a one by one hut. Uh, I've done that. Yes. If you want to see some of my stuff, you can go and take a look at some of the YouTube things. Cause my, my little, I call it the Castillo de Coco. That is the coconut castle for, uh, those Spanish people that speak Spanish. Uh, what I just spoke was technically Spanish, but not really Spanish because it was very badly pronounced. But yes, the Castillo de Coco is the coconut castle. And I have a nice wide crafting area, and then I have a nice small little house there. And uh, to craft to craft a one by one, it is. Depends on if you want windows. But yes, the the wood walls require one of the building components. So you're talking one, two, three, four, and five. And the, so six. So yeah, you can do it with two logs and one stone. But it would just be a tiny shack. We're not going to make a tiny shack. We're going to make a nice little place. All right. Uh, crafting. What else can we toss out here? Uh, we'll put the log cart down. Gonna want to make that log cart sooner than later. But yes, it's it's wonderful. I mean, technically, we could start laying out a house, too. That's so all we need is the uh, hammer. We equip the hammer. Pick up the shell. Let's run it over to like, maybe we'll put it like over here. Because I think what I'm going to do this time is we're going to make a pier. So yeah, here we go. Uh, technically, I have to uh, make the first item, so I can't do it yet. But yeah, you pull it out, you hit the mouse wheel, and then you can just toss down all the things that you want. You can kind of just plan it out and then build it as you get resources. But we haven't constructed our first thing, so we can't do any of that yet. That just takes one log, so we can do that pretty easily, too. All right, so we've laid out a couple of things. Don't really care about the charcoal pile right now until we can start smelting stuff, so that doesn't matter. All right, yeah, sleep time. Okay, all right, game. You have taunted me into this. You have taunted me into this. You all ready for this? You all ready for this? So we are going to... The game has taunted us into it. We're going to make a
Oh, we already had a rope rope. Okay. Let's look. What? All right. So Q. The game has taunted us by actually sending us a little bit of rain. And I, I know, I know this is a mistake. I know this is a mistake because the rain is going to now completely stop. So I've kind of screwed myself. But you know what? I'm not going to let the game just taunt me by sending me rain when it never sends me rain and get away with it. All right, so four sticks, one wide leaf. Uh, two of those guys. Two of those guys. More sticks. We're not going to let the game get away with taunting us. So we will build... Is it daytime? Yes. We will build a coconut water collector. Rain collector. Guarantee you. I guarantee you. It's going to stop raining now. But... Let's grab some uh, chamomile while we're up here. Gathering level two. What do we get for gathering level level two? Gathering level two. Reduce gathering and mining duration by 10%. Wonderful. Reduce chance of injury while gathering by 1%. Uh, normally, doesn't really matter. On hard mode, it matters. I mean, how many times have I screamed out 2% at the top of my freaking lungs? So far this playthrough, you know? It won't be the last time. So yeah, this helps reduce that 2%. Now we're going to scream 1%. Actually, I think we start generally with three for gathering, but neither here nor there. Come here, chicken. The likelihood of that hit hitting the chicken would not have been high. Is not high. But if it had, oh man, that would have been a wonderful video. That's like that's like 10,000 views right off the bat. <laughs> you know? Amazing long-range spear throwing. Hits chicken, kills it. What were we doing? Making this box. Need our hammer. I had a hammer. I had hammer in the morning. We now have a chicken on the be uh, the beach, though, which is nice. Because we don't have to run as far to uh, kill it. Really, I need I need a leaf. Okay. All right. Um. Oh, screw you, game. Fine. We'll go get the leaf right now. Jeez. You know. Just absolutely ridiculous. Last time I played. After the first, after day two, it didn't rain for like seven or eight days. So I, I started doing all these other things to figure out how to survive without rain. And I got pretty good at it. And now the game is taunting me. Going, ha ha, we're going to make it rain. Screw you, game. Damn it.
I hear the boar. Stay away from the boar. We like fun people. Ow! Oh, we finally got poisoned. Off we go. Window depends on if you can use an outside workbench through the window. Nah, oh, man, it depends because it makes it look awesome when you're on the inside. Just because you're surviving doesn't mean that you can't have an awesome looking house. All right, the, we have returned to we have returned to base with our log, right? Rain has now stopped. Okay, y'all are keeping track of this, right? Put leaf inside. Hammer, hammer, hammer. New object. Oh, well, we did get the perk point for it, so that is another reason to grab it. All right, it is. Uh. Ba -ba -ba -ba. It used to be a day counter. I think they removed the day counter. Or, or where is it now? It's still here somewhere, isn't it? Uh, what day is it? There's something up here. What could it be? Journal. Okay. Ah, there it is. 12 days, 10 hours, 49 minutes. We'll say 12 days, 11 hours. We'll, we'll even it out, right? 12 days, 11 hours. Let's see how much rain we get after the 12 day, 11 hour mark. I have a feeling the answer will be not much. Okay, okay, okay. Um, is it technically dark right now? Yes, it is. All right, let's sleep. Dare not drink this water. Soak disappeared. Yeah, soaked isn't going to reappear for the rest of the game, okay? <laughs> we know on which side of this toast the bread is buttered, okay? Soaked is never going to reappear. Grab this other X. All right, another perk point. So we have enough perk points to spend stuff on. Okay, so like I said, we have done, we hydration, sleep, and then either food or this first poison one is good. But at this point, we're going to grab hydration too. And after that, it's kind of like, meh, whatever. Uh... Like I said, I'm going to make a video and it's probably going to be, you know what, theory crafting the video for Thursday right now is probably not a bad idea. So I can kind of talk you through my pro, uh, thought process here. It's actually raining. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's, that's, I am literally astounded. Okay. Um, wow. Dumbfounded. 
So when it comes to the perks, some of them are good, some of them are whatever, and some of them just don't matter at all. Um, concentration is one of those not really at all things. The only reason, reason to get concentration is if you just can't find anything. It's kind of a helpful mode for survival game newbies. Um, cause if you're, if you're good at survival games, one of the things that you, that you develop really quick is a memory for where things are located, you know? So it's like, all right, if I go over here, I can pick up this resource. If I go over here, I can pick up that resource. Mm -hmm. It is. So, outside of finding something that you have thrown, say a spear, it's not that great. Although, if you do use a bow and arrow, it is actually a decent pickup because you can see where your arrows have landed when you miss stuff. And the drop bags thing, if you drop bags in a mapped area, there'll be a mark on the map. Uh, if you drop bags in a not mapped area, well, why hadn't you mar uh, mapped it already? And, I mean, the biggest question is, why are you dropping bags to begin with? You can't... See, for me, that doesn't matter because we're playing one life right now. So, if I faint, I don't drop a bag. My game just drops. And I go back to the menu. Concentration 2, highlight animal remains and allows me to track animals. Whatever. I can see animals, I can hear animals, I can follow animals. Um, going back to a animal that you've killed, that's kind of nice. But once again, it's it's that survival game mindset. A, a person who have played survival games for a while, they know, I killed this boar, it was right next to the mountainside by the big tree and the little tree about 15 feet into the jungle. Boom. And they will walk back to it every single time. All right. Uh, concentration three. Highlights poisonous animals in concentration mode. Quite nice. You can see the snakes. You can see the spiders. You can see the scorpions. Um, but outside of that, it doesn't really do much. Because you can hear the snakes, and then you can find them, and you can kill them. All right, snakes are done. You can see the scorpions, or you can see the spiders, and you can kill them. Okay, that's done. Now, if this allowed you to, say, not get interrupted while you were harvesting in a jungle and get bit by a scorpion, that would be great. But it doesn't. Although there is a medication that does do that. All right, up next, we have the... Resist diseases. Rank 1 reduces the chance of getting sick due to weather factors. So I believe that is wind and rain and sunlight. So no sunburn, no flu. Okay, that's fine. But if you take the navy coat, you don't have to worry about any of that early on. So this one can be pushed back really far. Uh, natural recovery heals all types of flu 50% better. Okay, but once again, when you get in the flu with a navy coat. And level 3, natural uh, recovery heals all types of wounds 50% better. This is by far the best one in this entire category. Uh, but to get to it, it requires, three, what, 5 perk points? Oof. You know? And there are some better things you can do, and we'll get to those. And that's primarily around sleeping. All right, so perk points for poison, resist poison. This number one's really good. Indigestion, decreasing the chance of getting indigestion by 30% is huge. This is kind of a must get because you're eating all the time. And if you can decrease that chance to get food poisoning, so much the better. Uh, read Reduces a chance for getting poisoned by insects bite by 30%. Uh, getting poisoned by like spiders and scorpions happens, but it doesn't happen like a super, like a 
whole lot, you know, um, unless you're playing on very hard. There is a sizable step up from hard to very hard to where on very hard you might get poison 50% of the time that you get bit or stung. But on very hard, uh, on hard, it might be 25%. It's a lot less, at least in my experience. And then rank three reduces chance of poisoning from snake bites by 30%. You can see the snakes. You can hear the snakes. You can kill the snakes with a thrown spear. This is, I mean, it's not really a needed perk. All right. For hydration, this is the number one, uh, the one that you should get first off. And that is a uh, thirst control rank one. Eating water containing food gives plus five water bonus. So any food you eat that has water in it gives you five extra water. Wonderful. Level two, clean water hydrates 25% more. Again, super great. Speaking of, this might be full by now. So we're going to drink everything we can. Return to our perch out of the rain. So yeah, that this one is also a really nice one. 25% more out of clean water sips. Great. And thirst control rank three, increase upper limit of hydration by 10%. Okay. So now I can have 110 water hydration instead of 100. Yeah, I mean, 10 more is fine but I would be spending points in other things before I would get up to here. All right, uh, hunger, control, rank one. Eating nutritious food gives you five plus five food bonus. Now I believe the, can't remember if this is for all food or if it is for cooked food. I can't remember what they describe nutritious as, uh, but yes, this is probably like the number three pickup. Slows down starvation process while sleeping by 20% do, isn't really needed. Don't go to sleep unless you you have food. Doesn't matter. Increase the upper limit uh, for sa satiety. Satiety? Satiety? To be satiated by 10%. Same thing as with water. Puts you at 110. Fine, whatever. Uh, perk points for energy. Better sleep, increase energy recovery rate by sleeping by 10%. This is the number two thing you get. You secure more water, hydration, and then you can uh, secure more energy when you sleep. That's great. Number two, increases chance of recovering from all diseases by 20%. This is the one that we're going to pick up right now. Because, well, if you can recover from uh, diseases while you sleep, that means you have to use less medicines means you have to go exploring for less components. So it's a, it's a really good choice. Um, level three here, all diseases except fever don't block healthy sleep. It's another great one. By far the sleeping line is the most powerful line. Uh, perk points, the learning skills give 10% Earn skill points bonus. Okay. I mean, that's not bad. You get more skill points more faster. That's great. That's that's wonderful. Every fifth uh, completed survival task gives one perk point. Um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's fine. You'll get a couple extra perk points, but not many. Gives a 50% bonus to book reading speed. Doesn't really matter. You know, uh, so you can read a book in five hours instead of 10 hours. By the time you're like legitimately reading books that you're finding, uh, it shouldn't matter. You eat food, you read the book, you're done. And lastly, we have our potions or our alchemistry. Unlocks a buffalo potion. Buffalo potion is pretty good. Well, that's fine because I wasn't asking you a question anyways. Alchemistry rank two unlocks a snake potion. Snake potion is pretty decent. And the jaguar potion is decent as well. But I mean, you can find some. 
but being able to make them is kind of nice. All right. Mm -mm. The potions might be worth it on a single life mode as it uses water of life. Uh, might, might not be worth it. Yeah. Because water of life is very limited. I don't know if I would ever want to use my water of life. Unless I'm trying to get rid of... Because you have to remember, I mean, fainting isn't a thing. It's more of a super heal, you know? It's plus 30 health. I mean, we could burn one right now. Okay. Clean water. Split logs. So we're going to have to get the kiln set up. Which means we're going to have to get some more clay. Two split logs, four small sticks. I think I'm going to run down the beach here and we're going to chop down a tree. Generally, I don't like chopping down palm trees on the beach because I like having trees around my house. It increases the property value. And we have to think about, you know, when we leave this island and we're going home, I mean, we have to think about, you know, the resale value of our house on the island because, you know, we might as well get as much out of our house as we possibly can. Do, do, do. Yeah, it might be better. I do think you're, I do think you're right with that. Some of them are less impressive, like, oh, not having any food, energy, or, like, water loss. I mean, if you were in a dire situation, popping one of those would be like, oh, okay. But, yeah, the buffalo potion is actually pretty good. You know? We can put in a Walmart or something. That way, people really love it. Uh, Split logs. We still have the saw. Um, do we want to make a... <sighs> the hollow, you used to be able to make a water catcher out of a hollow log, and I wish they would bring that back. It was really great. I think the only thing you can do hollow log now is... Uh, there are a couple of things. Main thing is the water barrel. So we will hang on, it's nighttime, isn't it? Yeah, it just it just kicked over into night. Uh let's sleep. Technically it's still night right now as well, so. Next time we go up there, we're going to grab another flask as well. Drink the juice. Is it daytime? It looks like it's daytime now. All right, this stone axe is pretty much dead. Let's... We're going to, oh yeah, it's not the improved yet. I was like, what can I do? Oh, 
hollow log. Yeah, the only thing we can make with a hollow log right now is the barrel. Which is kind of sad. They definitely need more stuff for the hollow log than just that. Food potion was good for the old sailing system. Yeah, sailing is so much easier now. Before you would just look at your little your little ship icon, raft icon, slowly make a dotted line across a map. As the other bars slowly sink to the bottom and you died. And that was it. Now, some people are like, oh, so nice because you can stop anywhere and you could fish. Well, you can fish in fish areas. Otherwise, if you stop somewhere, it was just empty ocean and a shark, which at the time you couldn't harvest. I do want them to put a uh, like fishing zones back out in the water where it's like as you're cruising around the islands, you could find a fishing spot. I think that'd be nice. Split logs. Four and one. One. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's eat some of this dumb fruit. Hammer! Hammer! I shall call my hammer Mew Mew. Mew Mew! Meow! <coughs> You have to be careful with the cart. Uh, once you get up to like Athletics 10, you move so incredibly fast with the cart that if you like go over the top of a rock, you will catch air. A significant amount of air. It's actually a lot of fun. <laughs> <clears throat> now we can come back and we can dig up these, uh, uh, not branches. Um, hang on a second. Did it put that right into my inventory? Did they change that? Oh, <gasps> interesting. So in the pre-release version, if you cut or if you broke down something, it would drop stuff onto the ground. And it looks like maybe they changed that. log cart back. Jimmy Clarkson's precision tool of choice hammer? Yes. All you need is a hammer and a screwdriver. And more power. And speed! Alright, 
let's offload. Uh, sippy, 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 sip, sip, sip. Do we have anything to munch on? I mean, we don't have to eat anything right now. I want to cook up these short-eared dogs probably tomorrow. We can hold them for another day after that, but... All right, what time is it? All right, we've been streaming again for another over an hour or so. So we're going to take another break. I'm going to get up, stretch the legs again. Suggest all of you do the same. Let me put on my big screen. That way you know I'm talking to you guys. All right, so we will take a break. You guys go get up, look at something that is not this computer screen. Give your eyes a rest for a minute. And then we will be back here in just a couple of minutes and we will continue on for a little bit more today. Probably about hour maybe two hours more see you guys in just a couple of minutes
Okay. Let's get back into things. Make ourselves more split logs for a lot of stuff. Some things we can dry without. We need more sticks. Man, we're already out of Liana rope, okay. And have to go get some more. Come on, light up. Yep. Fire starting level two. Wonderful. fried eggs uh anything else we can cook up right now nope we could go get some more bananas uh do we want to go out this evening i don't think we need to all right Oh, 
Oh, we still had one left. Wonderful. The pharmacy is looking nice and full. Uh, half log. Let's go half log. Emma. Okay, there we go. Put the cart back over here. So our area here is built up quite a bit. We have 3.6 days left on the Navy coat. <sighs> okay. Half log and split logs. Guess you need a boat to get there? Mm, yep, we're going to need one. You're going to need one sooner than later. All right, so let's go on a clay run. We need two clay. We know two clay is going to be pushing it. We could go hunting and get some hides and make a hide bag. And yeah, we can do a hide bag on the first tannery, I believe. Using the first tannery. So we're going to need a couple big branches, a couple of yana root. Um, let's go into the Spanish camp in the jungle. We'll be able to get a couple of liana ropes that way. I'm going to drop off these guys so we have the weight. Drop off him as well. We don't need it anymore. We shouldn't be gone long enough to really worry about water. Or mapping. Might want to do something. Cutting something down. We'll see. Mm -mm -mm. Can I make a loom in the clothing from seaweeds before leaving this region? No. A uh, horse weed is not found in this region. So to get the horse weed to make the seaweed fabric, you need to go to Buffalo. Uh, now you don't need a boat to grab the first set of seaweed. There's some of that right off the shoreline there. So you could go and grab that. Um...
Still didn't find my big branch up here. It's around here somewhere. Burn in a fiery pit. Oh, there it is. We found it. I hear my music. Little piggy, you just stay over there. Don't want to fight you right now. I'm just here for the resources. Don't worry, I'll come back for you later on. Really? It's the narrow leaf that sends me over the edge? Ow! Ow! Oh, you son of a bitch. Fine. You want to have it? You want to you wanna do it? You want to go? Come on. Let's go. Let's go, piggy. Run before me! Alright. Miss him. Ow. GG, no damage taken. Uh, I, did I not take damage in that first one? He, when he came in from behind me, I, I thought I was done. Yeah, he's down here somewhere now. Uh, he's running. He's running from me. We're going to let him run. We'll find him again. We'll find him at some point. Yeah, that was a jump scare. Turned around and there he was. Sounds like he's out here in the valley. We're going to have to find him later. Oh, uh, as a word of advice, never throw a spear at a boar. <laughs> or at a peccary. Or at a jackal. Because we'll stop their attack. They'll be like... Oh, ow. But then they will run away with a spear, with your spear sticking out of the side of them. And you won't be able to get your spear back. So, yeah. Be careful. Blocked, blocked all the boar attacks, get hit, gets hit by a small eared dog. I tell you, sometimes the smaller your dogs are more difficult. They're definitely more difficult than they were before. Before, they would come after you, but they would come after you at range, so you could always have a charged up uh, attack to do a blocking. Attack cancel, whatever you want to call it. Um, now, you have to get so close to them, it's like you have to time it just right. 
usually what I do is I keep going in. And then as soon as I start to see a move, I run backwards and I spike him. But yeah, it's 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 not completely wonderful. Alright, so we can store that. Store that. Store that. Store that. Okay, so this can be built. We'll do that later. Some more long sticks. Some more Leona rope. go grab the long sticks first we haven't harvested all the ones from over here yet so we haven't even needed to go to the other uh, to the plains yet for anything which is quite nice fear me chickens I am the poor hunter you are nothing Or carry two spears? It does. Now this one is running out. 12 of 60. Uh, thing is, though... I don't know. Yes? I would do that with... I would do that when I was using, like, wooden spears. I would carry, like, more than one. With, like, the stone spear, it's like, I'll just use my hatchet. If things go sideways. 25 days, 28 days. Uh, let's grab a little more dinner. Already got an orange back already. Wonderful. How many days were left on this one? Nine days. Oranges are something you should harvest as soon as possible on the hardest difficulty modes because, you know, you want to get them back. And they are great sources of hydration. They are wunderbar. Now we're going to run into this other liana tree, or banyan tree, actually, to get the liana vines. There it is. By the way, if you aim your bow on a dog, it will charge you from a distance. Uh, yes and no. Sometimes things will just run from you, which can be highly annoying. Uh, although you can stop their running... Is it behind the tree? No, it's not. It's right there. Um, how much I got left on you? Not much. Do I need to kill that snake? Probably not, because it's way out here and I probably won't run into it again. Am I going to kill that snake? Hell yes. Dead snake, best snake. Just saying. Let's grab a little more lunch. Now, if any of you... Blah, 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 and if, if any of you saw me stream or do videos during the demo, this is where I used to make my base at the giant heads uh, sculpture. And I, may, uh, I really miss making my base out here. I really do. Because I would make my base up on top of these racks here. 
and it was great. It was wonderful. It was, it was so nice. Um, but now I've moved away from that just to the beach because uh, there's not a lot of place to put like structures. But if I was not going to be like making houses and stuff like that, uh, I still think this is like the best place to make a base. At least when you're starting off. The other great one is probably at the end of the bay on the other side. Now we don't have much in the way of... Health, not health, um, weight to give up there. All right, we're going to finish up that tannery and the drying rack. And then we will go and find that boar. And we will hit him one more time. Declare victory. And try and make a hide bag. Or additional storage. Okay, um... Bump. Bump. Yeah, boom. Level three crafting. Um, we don't need to cook tonight. Yeah, we can put off cooking. Our obsidian axe is getting pretty beat up. Um. Okay. This guy is now broken. It is now dark. We're going to take a nap. Uh, water stuff. Hey, it's raining. Wow. I've gotten so much rain this playthrough. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um... Oh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I made a mistake. I should have made the stone one just for the hell of it, but I decided to make this one just because it was quicker. All right. Got a good hammer back. Split log. Four sticks. Another rope. Did we not have any more split logs? I thought we still had one. All right, so we're going to have to go get some more logs, which means we are going to have to get some more obsidian axe. All right, so we'll offload all of that.
kind of don't want to leave when it's raining so I can fill up my barrel. Uh, we gotta we gotta do stuff though because our we're gonna lose our navy coat here in the day. I mean we're not gonna be able to replace that anytime soon. We need the dried hides. All right. All right, so we need, we're going to go through and we're going to grab some stuff from the other side of the island. We are burning through all of our rope. Woo! Okay, 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 okay. Only two juice, how sad. We have a spear that we can repair. Um, we'll take our fire starter with us. We will take... shell with us just in case we need a little bit of food you know what we don't need the shell yeah you know what we'll take the shell take some mapping charcoal as well as a rope It's time to go on an adventure. I'm going on an adventure. It's time to get more obsidian, folks. Bring it with you. Hang on a second. Oh, do, 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 Two, two, and two. Ugh. Six energy per turn versus five energy per turn. Not gonna, not gonna do it. Let's also bring one of you. Another one of you. I doubt we're going to be anywhere. We're going to be bit by scorpions, but better safe than sorry. Interesting. <laughs> Damn it! Why the hell was he all the way out? Well, I'm glad I brought a poison thing with me. Why are you all the way out here? 
Get back in your damn forest. <laughs> Sorry guys, like I said, if I'm killing them at a distance, I'm fine. If, if that happens, I have a very mm, visceral reaction. What's up, Mambo? Swear if you get, if you, I hate, I hate those freaking crystal snakes, man. I hate going into the cantina when people have those damn things. It's not fun. Do so at your own peril, sir. <laughs> it's still happening. The shiver on my spine is still happening. Mm. Okay. What were we talking about? Focus. Refocus. not far from the house right now but we're still going on an adventure an adventure taking us this direction what we will do is stop uh, stop to sleep Lock and load. Lock and lock. Was that monsoon? Thank you very much for that sub over there on YouTube. All right. Let's sleep. Oh, yeah, it puts it right back into your inventory. Oh, that's so nice. In the pre-release version of the beta, or of the early access, when you would disassemble something, it would toss it, like, on the ground, and you would have to pick it up. And now it puts it right into your backpack, so it's much nicer. Much easier. May not sound like much, but uh, it's definitely a thing. Bye, Birdie. 
Ugh. Only feathers? What a crappy bird. For you being such a crappy bird, I'm going to steal the eggs from your nest. Wahahaha. Come at me, bro. Into the basket with you. Uh, we need some aqua. A little bit of our sippy cup there. How much we got left on you? Uh, eight. All right, so let's do one. Do 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 do. We leave off with you? Yes. All right, we're going to need some water fairly shortly. Uh, we could eat some bananas. Bananas have a little bit of water. Seven. All right, there we go. Gathering level three. Wonderful. All right. So we hit all of these trees. Yes. Oh, nope. Missed one. Okay. Boom. So this is now up to full capacity. Uh, let's go like this instead. Stow as many bananas as possible. Look at that. That's how you do it. All right, so the box is full, which means we ourselves can carry a little bit more weight. Um, do I just leave the box here? Okay. Okay. We do have a rope. I might need to sleep. Okay. Uh, one thing that we do have to consider here is we are entering jackal territory. You can hear him barking. So we would like to try and not get into a fight with the jackals. Can I get down to that guy down there? Where is he at? Is he right below me? Yeah. We're going to go do it this way. Or we're going to we're going to get a bump. We're going to get a bump. Uh. Oh, we didn't hurt ourselves though. Wonderful. And we'll grab the book. Poor guy crushed by a stone. Right. There's a jackal. As long as he doesn't bring in his friend, we'll be fine. Whoa. Oh, that was close. That was really close. I think he's damaged enough that he won't bother us now. Yeah, there's another one right over there. There he is. Oh, we missed. Oh, damn it. How did we miss that one, too? Shoot. Wow. Okay, that was really bad.
that is not ideal. That went a little rougher than I wanted to. We took two hits there, which was not what I was aiming for. Ah! Oh, I left it in the cart. Damn it. Oh, well. I grabbed the rope and I didn't grab the charcoal. All right, dummy. Everybody's done it. Oh, okay, there he is. I was like, hang on a second. I'm bringing back my kill. Look at it, look at it. You can, you can kind of make him move a little bit. He's like... Rah, 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 rah. Oh, he tried to bite me. Ah! That's right, I can't jump when I'm hauling something on my shoulder. As you know... That's the one that I injured. You can see him running. All right. This is also why I brought along two bandages with me. Only problem is, uh, I don't think I can pull my cart and hold the jackal at the same time. Poor jackal, he smashed his face. Alright, uh... Heal? Every once in a while, you might get lucky and heal for two. For two. Uh, I didn't. Mr. Jackal, what you have inside of you? We have a Jackal hide. We don't have any hide hide. Really, all you're good for is meat in the tendon right now. You don't have a hide hide. And I didn't bring a cutter with me. Because I wasn't planning on killing you guys. Uh, there are some stones right here, though. So we can make a cutter. Without much of an issue. Um, you know what? I am kind of sleepers. You think this would be great. I don't know why I won't let you put it on that area. I like sleeping off the ground for obvious reasons. Things on the ground bite you. Plop, 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 plop. Okay. Fido. Um, interact. Select all. Slicey dicey.
hang you in the tree. That way, that way everyone else knows to fear me. It's a sign. It's a sign for everyone they, when they come through here. They're going like, oh man, can you see what he did to that jackal? Let's not screw with that guy. You got to teach them the price. The price of resistance to my, to my rule. Power before me. Uh-oh. He's going megal megalomaniac. Full megalomaniac. Wipe them out. All of them. Uh, we need bananas. Or, uh, which gives me more? Oh, tummy ache. That's why we brought those long. How much free weight do I have on myself? Uh, actually, we're right up against it. I grab like one or two more things. We're probably over our weight limit. So what we are going to do is we're going to go back to camp. We are going to call this a successful harvesting adventure. We have a box full of obsidian. Well, not full of. We have some several pieces more of obsidian. We have many new long branches. We have some meat to cook up, some animal tendons to mess with, whole bunch of wide leaves, whole bunch of bananas, whole bunch of uh, green bananas that we can make into fried bananas. So we have quite a few things that we can cook. You notice how I had a big wide pass on, the, on that dead snake Donald King thank you very much for the twitch sub no power in the verse can stop me baby thank you very much for all that you got a cart full of goodies We should be able to get our health or our water up and then just heal through. You know what? I might just pop one of these right now because it will get rid of my, my, uh, faint penalty debuff. And that means I will be able to heal all the way back up to hundred. So, you know what? We're going to pop one of these. Here we go. <laughs> Where did I put my card? Okay. Um, drop off the meat. Rocks can be stored outside because they're rocks. That mapping charcoal that I needed with me that I didn't take with me. <laughs> I'm holding too many squirrels and bananas. Um, you know what? Obsidian can be stored outside. Wop, wop, wop. Stay bwopped over there. Thank you. Go bwop yourself, Rock. Um, play can be stored outside, too. Here we go. Um, 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 um. um. Sticks, 
and put all the sticks in there. I think we need a new box. Once again, sticks can be stored outside. Do you know how much people would freak out considering, especially in the demo, when people are like, I can't find sticks anywhere. If I, if I just piled up all the sticks we got from that one thing, took a picture of it, people would just lose their damn minds. It's great. I love it. Um, grab that bag. What? Do we go on another resource gathering adventure? Where would we go? Water temple? No, 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 no. We're going to, we're going to get a, some rafty stuff up instead. So, you know what? So we're going to go this way. Store the book. Store that. Store that. Yeah. There. Okay. All right. Um, we need logs for this. We need a split log for this. That's good. We need split log for this. Okay. So we're going to continue busting down stuff over there. Uh, do we waste a big branch? Oh, we don't have any big branches left, do we? Well, that answers that question. We're not going to. Uh, give me just a second, guys. going to run to the restroom. So I'll be right back. Don't go away. Okay, I have returned. Had to do my part in the coffee circle of life. Was that Frank? Hey, Frank. Thank you very much for that YouTube subscription. Now, some of those people might just be subscribing to a video after seeing a video. They might not actually be watching the stream, but hey, the stream's going on right now. So if Frank, if you're there, thank you. 
Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Okay, um... Let's do it! Time to chop down some trees. I believe we still have a log over here that we did chop down earlier. Ooh, Athletics 3. Let's take a look at that. All right, Athletics. What do we get for Athletics? For Athletics, we now have increased sprinting speed by 5%. Our stamina recovery is 10%, and our reduced stamina drain when sprinting is 15%. There is a point at level 10 that you can basically run for forever and, you know, never get tired. My code is about to break. Yeah. We have 1.3 days. We will go with a uh, just leaf coat for a little bit. We can make some hide stuff, but I'm thinking about instead of going hide armor, which I, which I have in the past primarily, instead I'm thinking about doing, uh, well, let's find a nice little Chinese palm, small palm, small palm. Small. Small, 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 pennies. You get two out of a Chinese palm, so. So we'll go get a nap, regen our health back up to full. But yeah, I think instead of getting the hide, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and make the, the uh, seaweed armor instead. I think I kind of want to have seaweed armor this time. So that's what we're going to attempt to do, at least. Did I really drink all this out of the barrel? Oh, well. Um, we're just trying to get our water high enough that we can reach in some health this evening. Yep, that will regen us all the way up. Wonderful. Great. We're looking good. We're looking good. Okay, um... New needs a dried hide. I think it's time to go hunting. Derp. Literally ran over the sticks. <laughs> oh, where are the sticks at? Oh, I can't find them. Okay, so now we can do our hides. We have a spear, tip top spear. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go.
Don't like hunting in the rain. Because we're going to be going into like areas that are a little nasty. What's up, Doc? How you doing? I've kind of moved past H and G. You know, it's closing down. Uh, I am gonna play a little bit before it closes up. You know, definitely going to do just for nostalgia's sake. But I'm trying to get the channel moved on from it. You know, unfortunately, I loved H and G, but. That's where we're at now. I'll give it the one last hurrah when I can buy all my items. Ah. <sighs> Shame. Well, eventually we'll get a second one. I still think that they're going to make it. Ouch! Let's go see if we can't find that boar again. One we nearly killed last time. He was over in this area by the uh, Spaniards camp. See ya, Doc. Yeah, we've been playing a lot of galaxies, so... Love you, Doc. can't see anything with this rain. Come at me, bro. Are you running? He's running. Got him. I'm so glad you can't catch malaria in these areas anymore. Oh, we did get a runny nose from the uh, rain. All right, first things first, we need the hides more than anything. Secondly, we will take as much stuff as we possibly can. Uh, this can be dropped. I guess I can put it in there. It doesn't really matter. Um, we don't need this. We can take it, though. Uh, no, we can't. We only have 30 durability because it's a stone. So we'll leave that. Um, 
Board tusk we could use to make a better harpoon. Not going to worry about it right now. We're going to come back and get this guy. We're going to have to go get another stone. Uh, so what do we want to cut up first? I'll go like this. We're going to need, what, two more stones to slaughter this dude? Uh, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Three more stones? Mark the boar on the map. Oh, I don't need to do that. I know where the boar is at. Um, Mark things when you can't remember where they are. I know where I'm at. Marking on the map is wasting like three seconds worth of effort. We don't got time for that. Hold the phone. Did they? Oh, nope, there it is. I was, I was one rock over too far. I was like, did they remove that rock? No, no, it's still there. I was just one rock further over. We'll need at least two. We should need three, I think. I know we'll we'll, we'll get it with two. Ah, Skinning level one. There are so many of these. Look at that. Three of them just sitting here. Uh, you know what? We're going to take one of them with us. That way we can replace. Because this guy's durability is going to start to suffer a little bit. So you know what? We'll, we'll actually take two of them back. Because you probably will make two more stone spears. Maybe. Okay. Um. Are you a good mushroom? I can't. No. Death cap. Food poisoning, 34%. I don't think there's a even like a recipe for a death cap yet either. I was hoping it could, you could make like poison arrows or something like that. But so far, I haven't seen any sign of that.
I see you. Now I don't see him. Is he on the freaking rack? Another reaction there, guys. Okay. All right. We have a cart full of bits. Get these bits back to camp so we can take another nap. If it was in the middle of nowhere, definitely is handy. Um, but I've spent enough time in that jungle. <laughs> uh, I'm actually really good at remembering where things are, though. In like a... On maps and stuff like that. Same thing in like real, in real life. Uh, I don't know why, but if I travel to a place once, I can generally get there every single time after that fact. And I mean, I'm talking like, I drove up to, when I drove up to visit my grandmother in another state. After that, it was perfectly fine. I could do it. Eyes closed. Since then I worked it, you know? Oh, runny nose. Treated. And let's sleep. Raining again. Wow. Okay. So yeah, game is just like making me look like a liar. But you know what? That's fine. If, if this is what it takes to get rain making me look like a liar. I'm a fibber. You know... <laughs> Don't pay attention to me. He's just a fibber. I, I will take that. I will take that. I will be the fibber.
I will take being a fibbing fibber. Uh, 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 game. Don't equip these things yet. No need to wear them out when we don't have to. We still have 0.2 days. Let's just process some hides. Wonderful. Wonderful. And let's just dry a hide. All right. So that will give us the dried hide so we can make our canoe. Which will also open up the next zone. I mean, we haven't actually done much of the story. All we've done for the story is go to uh, the cove. We haven't even gone and picked up the spyglass yet. So people are like, can you play the game without doing the story? Yes. The answer is yes. All right, so this is full. Well, you know what? Which book is this? Uh, it's the shooting book. I don't, I don't do archery much, so not overly concerned. What we will do though, is we will this. Can we? Can we is the question. Yes. One last saw job. It's the saw job. Repair with, see, that's nice. I can repair it with a small stone. That's wonderful. Yeah, a second. I should have a small stone left, shouldn't I? Duh. Okay, Axe, let me ask you a question. Do you want to be repaired? What does it take you down? Mine is 45 maximum durability. This is time to think about something. This will lower it by 45 maximum durability. So we'll still have plenty of chops in it. That being said, to make a new one doesn't take much either. Because we just shape this guy and it does nothing. And then we make this with a piece of liana rope, which we can get more in a long handle. I'm thinking we just buy or go make a new one. I'm thinking we just go make a new one. Uh, do we still have the wood or the stone? No, we don't. Um, we could make a like an improved axe really quick. Really quick. So improved axe would be. Nah, improved axe requires a massive stone. So not gonna worry about that. All right, let's sleep. It rained again. I am the biggest lying liar that has ever lied a lie.
Oh, we lost that. We lost one of the small dogs. That's fine. Okay. Oh, our navy coat broke. Store that. Okay. Um. Oh, a little lag there all of a sudden. Such things do happen. Are you dried? Yes. Here's your new one. Hang on a second. I said there is your new one. Okay, so now we can make the canoe, right? Canoe! What's canoe with you? Oops. Let's sleep. Now our sleep schedule is all over the place. And we're about to lose some of the eggs. Was that Miss Krishilo? Krishilo? How are you doing? Thank you very much for that follow. Hope your day is going well. Alright, so make all of the banana. And then also make all of the egg. Then because we're a tough guy, we'll eat the last egg. Mm. <laughs> Stomach ache. <laughs> I'm not so tough anymore. I have a tum to make. Uh, where's the Tums? There we go. Tough guy. Instantly regrets it. Uh, anything else to cook right now? Oh, uh, we could cook up some more meats. More meats? All right. We're stow said meats. Turn off you. I didn't know. I, don't, I shouldn't have had that going, but oops. We did. Wasted some life on my, my guy. Once I spent two days looking for... Oh, yeah. I, I read that. The Great Buffalo Hunt. Take our juice. And we're going to take a nap for a little bit before tomorrow starts. In earnest. Hope you enjoy the game. I'm loving it. There's really a lot to it. Oh, yes. I've played this game since uh, the demo. And uh, I actually have a YouTube channel with quite a bit of content over there. If you're ever looking for guides or anything of that nature. And I stream this. 
I streamed it a lot during the demo. I'm streaming it quite a bit now. I'm going to continue to do so. It is a great little game. Enjoy it quite a bit. Ah, excellent. Got a whole bunch of new stuff over there today. Okay, let's... Oh, you know what? Let's... Let's do this the correct way, guys. Let's do this the correct way. Where is my hammer? Hammer? Saddle up. Lock and load. Lock and load. Uh, Vic, uh, Vic Gell? Vic Gell? Sorry about that. It is not easy to pronounce all names. Hope your day is going well. Abba. Uh, foundation. <laughs> yeah, there we go. E. E. All right, so is that going to be long enough for a pure... I think we're going to do a triple peer because you know what? Single peers, single peers aren't enough. We're going to do a triple peer. Okay. Also means we can't do our dock right away, but, uh, you know, it's all good. Okay. So dock. Oh, we need more stone. Uh, you know what? We will downsize ever so slightly. We'll make our dock right here. But the dock will move to over there. And the not too distant. I said the dock will move. There it is. We're going to have a nice long pier for our stuff. Let's throw down the... Uh, just build a bridge. Could you bridge all the way over to the island? You know, that's an idea. We're going to have to experiment, guys. We'll do it for science. Canoe? What's canoe with you? Maybe that joke will work better the second time around. All right, uh, five narrow leaves, 15 tree bark, two split logs. Uh, yeah, I think we basically have all that. Why didn't I put the dock at the end of my pier? Uh, because I only have, I only have like one more builder toolkit and I didn't have any stones on me to make the, uh, the piers, but I'm going to, I just don't have the, uh, the stones. I don't got the stones for it right now. Can I say split logs? Sure, why not? If I had any issues with my dock, uh, the only issues I've ever had with the dock is if you are too shallow, it'll be like, you can't dock here. Or if you have two docks that are too close to each other, then they kind of get a little bit confused sometimes. Uh, so make sure you space out your docks a little bit and don't have your uh, docks in a too shallow of an area because you won't be able to dock if you're too shallow. I know some people have had some other issues, but I haven't run into any of them. I haven't run into the many issues whatsoever. So I guess I've gotten kind of lucky with such things. What was the other thing we needed? Oh, bark. Bark, 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 bark. We're going to have to get more bark. Ugh. I don't need hammer for this, do I? Maybe. Also doesn't want to be too close to a fishing spot. That makes sense, too. You can't dock to yours? Ooh. Yeah, as long as you get close enough to it, it's worked for me. Um, I 
we'll see if we can make it not work. All right, so two tree bark, five narrow leaves. I'll have to go in the forest for the tree bark because we've stripped off all the other stuff. Let's grab the five narrow leaves, though. Uh, surely I can find the fifth one on the ground somewhere, right? Right. Right. Oh, there we go. Was correct. Oh, it looks so barren over here after I've clear cut it all. <laughs> it's one of the reasons why I like chopping in the forest instead. It still looks like there are some trees around. Because there are. Scorpion, stop being annoying. We only needed two tree bark. Is that what we needed? Please someone say that that was all we needed. I think that's all we need. I always did one normal foundation as close to water as I can. One water foundation after that and then dock. I've put my docks just on the beach. And I haven't had any issues as long as they're not at funky, weird, shallow angles. The catamaran. You know, it's it's... So there have been people complaining about the catamaran. It's like the the thing, the hardest thing about the catamaran is the storage is a little funky to get to. They're like, but some people are saying you can never get to the storage, which isn't quite true. Uh, all right, we need an axe. So what we're going to do is we are going to go into the forest we can go into the forest at night and make this a scary, spooky adventure. We'll go into said forest. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Um, we have a sniffly nose again? Where'd we get the sniffles from? Oh, that's right. We're no longer protected against everything because we're wearing the leaves. Alright, so we'll go in. We will grab a couple of big branches. We'll, re we'll make a new... We'll make a new axe instead of repairing the old one. Hang on a second. What do I get if I, when I take you apart? Do I get the big branch? Maybe the, the disassemble for you is a big branch. It is the big branch. Fancy pants. Chop, chop, chop. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Uh, long handle. Long handle. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's something you'll pick up <laughs> over time. Uh, there are a lot of things that will break back down to some of the components, like uh, the stone spear. Never get rid of your stone spear when you it gets to the end of its durability, because if you disassemble it, you get the long stick back. And you can use that to make your new uh, long spear. Hammer! Mew Mew! Ooh. 
Okay, um, let's siesta. What time is it? Oh, it's six o'clock. That means it's the end of the stream time, guys. Oh, uh, you know what? The good news is that means tomorrow we're going to set sail because the last thing we'll do today is we will finish up my canoe. Oops. All right, so we got a canoe. It's ready to go. Ow. Four points of damage for being exhausted and, and not having water. Uh, there is a one copper thing that takes one copper and a branch to craft, but two copper to repair. Forgot what it was. Uh, branch and a copper... So, spear takes refined. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's the knife. Alrighty. Okay, guys. Start of a new morning. Tomorrow, we'll start with our voyage on the seas. Primarily tomorrow, what we're going to do first off is we are going to... Let me kick over the other screen. Primarily what we will do tomorrow for the stream is we're going to go and... Our first goal is going to be to make some seaweed armor. So we will go into the new zone. We can do that. We got a canoe. And we will go get some horse weed. And then we will go get that other seaweed we will make ourselves a loom and then we will make ourselves some seaweed fiber and then we will make ourselves some seaweed armor because i have not ever used it yet and it gives you cooling which as you know if you've been over to the copper island is super important so that'll be the goal for tomorrow so i hope you all come back we start at 1 p.m eastern time uh so we'll be starting up in about what 20 uh no, not 26 hours. the other way 18 hours something like that no uh 17 hours i don't know don't do math on stream it's not a wise thing to do all right guys i will catch you all later you all have a wonderful day make sure to go over to the youtube channel three new videos hit today they were all very short videos about some resource locations uh if you can, if you haven't yet, drop a subscription over there. It will definitely help out that channel. We're trying to get it up to that starting 1,000 um, subs number over there. Well on our way right now, so it's doing pretty good. So thank you, guys. I will talk to you all tomorrow, and we will do some more Survival Fountain of Youth. You all have a wonderful night. See you later. Bye-bye.